Let's see. Lost oh, my camera. And then we lost baby well, face. I'm back. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome back to the <laughs> to the circus clown show that is all our lives. Well, at least my life and this show. I am Hank Strange. This is the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. I don't have a gun to grab right now because it's been crazy over here. And I think the AK I was going to... Oh, Walt's throwing up a gun. There you go. Walt's got a... There you go. Walt's got an MP5. Patrick has a frame of a <laughs> Glock. Glock. Yeah, Glock. Nice, nice stipple in you Yeah, it looks there. great. Yeah, that 3D looks, printed. That looks freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, there you go. I, I listen. I'm always I'm always strapped, son. Check out my JM4. We'll talk about this later when we get in there. I'm gonna show you guys what this holster here is all about. So, anyways, anyways, yeah. If you want to see us actually hold, <laughs> this is this is like this is even funny. Um, if you want to see us actually hold guns, you got to join us live on Utreon, U-T-R-E-O-N, and we're Who Move My Freedom, W-M-M-F podcast. That's how you find us, yo. Um, all right, let's see here. And uh, let me, I'll press the buttons and get this going. Yeah. Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Franklin Armory. Franklin Armory provides 100% U.S. made firearms and awesome binary option triggers. Their focus and purpose is to provide freedom tools to all Americans, especially those in not so free states. So when you're in the market, please consider Franklin Armory. All right, we are live. Let me get uh, the dudes here. <laughs> the the free-for-all Monday dudes are in here. We're live. Let's do jazz hands. Come on, get the jazz hands in the air. I hope you, girl, you guys and girls have your big girl panties on <laughs> because we are live. This is episode 910 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. We've got 90 bottles of beer left on the bloody wall. Before we get to a thousand episodes, uh, it's free for all Monday, and the title is "Life is Falling Off a Bike." Life is falling off a bike. Boom. There you go. That's the title of the podcast. Of course, I'm joined here by uh, Baby Face P of Baby Face P Incorporated Worldwide International. There you go. That's LLC. LLC. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what Esquire, <laughs> the third. <laughs> No, I think Walt, no, Walter's the third. I don't know. Something like that. It's weird. I'm a second. I'm a second. Yeah, okay, there you go. There's There he goes, Walter uh, W.S. Keller. The w. second. S. I don't know. W.W. <laughs> oh, okay. W.W. W.W., okay. There you go, of Safety Harbor Firearms, also joining us. Um, what's up, dudes? Uh, how was your weekend? Mm-hmm. How was your Father's Day to you guys? My my life is my life is a shit show right now. But I'm gonna let you. I, I want. I need to know what's up with you, crazy mofos. Who's first? Fine here. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't end up going out of Tampa. Dad didn't. Gas prices are high, and Dad said, "Don't worry about it." He didn't want to do anything anyways. So we okay. stayed up here. I called him yesterday, but Marley and I didn't do a whole lot. Oh, I take that back. We we had a, a wife day on Wednesday uh, on Saturday. Uh, I woke up, took her to breakfast, took her shopping at Home Goods, which is her favorite place, and then we came. Oh, and then Home Depot to get some home stuff, and then came home and did some work around the house. Oh, okay, but that, right. that was pretty much my whole weekend. Yeah, taking care of the wife, the you know, saving money. She was money. very happy to go shopping. Yeah, oh, well, she was very very happy to go shopping. Yeah, that's true. Whatever money you save from not having to go see your dad, which <laughs> what was that like a hundred bucks probably? Probably a hundred and fifty bucks for gas. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I think I just put some diesel in this in this uh, van, and it was six dollars a gallon. Oh yes, I put te- I put ten gallons in here, and that was just, like seventy bucks. Just go to the farm store and get some red juice. Nobody's gonna know. What the hell is red juice? <laughs> off road diesel. Red? Oh, off road yeah. diesel. How, how much is that? It's cheaper because they don't tax it for the road. But <laughs> if you ever get caught with it, you get some taxes added to your. Oh, 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 damn it. Okay. <laughs> but who the hell ever, who, unless you're a big rig cross the country driver, who dips tanks? What cop is going to dip your tank, you know? There's they a, spe- 
Yeah, is it, yeah. I was gonna say, how the hell do they? T- is it like a certain and color red comes out of your tail red Different color. Different color. The, no, the it's fuel just, itself the, is red, oh, but okay. it's just diesel. It's just regular diesel that isn't. But it doesn't burn blue or something. And the cops are like, look at this uh, bastard. Literally, is okay. all the only difference is it isn't taxed coming out of the factory for road use. So they don't want people using it because you ain't supposed to use it on the road because it doesn't meet the tax. You don't have to pay that extra two bucks in taxes. Or so it's just taxes. The formula is the same. It's exactly the same thing. They put a little red. They put red dye twenty four in it or something like that. And so they can, because they will dip if they catch a, a big rig driver doing it. You get a big fine. Um, but. Listen, I'm not telling anybody to break. Why it. does Babyface know all of this, Walter? <laughs> I know a lot of stuff. I, I, I know all that. I know all that stuff. That's no, I understand funny. why you would know it, Walt, but why does Patrick know this? <laughs> technically, no, with a good it? diesel, you could run kerosene, you could run uh, yeah. engine, uh, like plane fuel. It's all pretty much the same crap. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just uh, um, the aircraft stuff's refined more, it's cleaner. Yeah, yeah, aircraft stuff is high refined. Yeah. I see that uh, Cruise Man says that Father's Day sucked. There oh, you go. Uh, All right. Sh- is it my turn? Is it yeah, my yeah, well, how, yeah, how, yeah, was, yeah, your, yeah. how was your thing? Okay, Saturday, uh, uh, my father, who's you know getting better and everything from the whole stroke thing, um, I would say he's probably at 90% of his old self. Um we went up to his place, cut the grass, just checked on things, collected the mail. Um, it was hot and... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, I shot, I, if anybody's seen it, I did a I did a little video with the uh, Pakistani yeah, yeah. MP5. I, that looks good. I'm a little the, jealous. I'm a little jealous. I kind of want one now. This was how much? How much money was this? It's just under 15. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, it it's, the, it's called the re, it's it's the re, excuse me it's called the reverse stretch and for those who don't know reverse stretch means it's got the standard style um, stock on the back with one pin one retaining pin normally an mm. MP5K has two retaining pins and, and the, the stock frame slides, is a little shorter and, right yeah and the stock slides into the into the receiver this goes over the outside. Right. So, so, is that your stock that we see on there? That's your. Oh um, well, that's the the Kess stock with the tail hook okay. brace on it. Mm-hmm. Which um, which tail hook see, is that? This is the full size one. Full yeah. size. Okay, this I think the C mod- or the new one is the better of the options. It's the Just smaller, saying, one, smaller one. Yeah, I like the smaller one but better. At the moment, we do not have a single tail hook for sale, so we've been really? kind of waiting for them. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta give him a call. And find a yeah, there was a. But, there um, have been people on your Facebook like crazy. I saw a guy crying on your Facebook. <laughs> I need, I need a, did you see this? Did you talk to any of these people? Because I see your Facebook. Some dude was crying on there today. I got, I get your Facebook messages, and I'm like, I'm staying out. I'm we we have we have the full size um, stocks. Mm-hmm. Even making those and shipping those. We're working on parts for the K's right now. Hopefully it won't be maybe another week, week and a half. Um, just mm-hmm. watch the website. They'll be back on the website as soon as they're available. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yes, the one thing nice about the reverse stretch idea is I can use any MP5 stock on the back of this k size gun. So I could use Patrick's stock. I can use my stock. I can use um, a Choate stock, um, whichever you want to do. If you a get a standard K- to find, I'm sorry, Walter. I was just gonna say it's a little simpler to find an original MP5 stock than it is K. K is a little more special. Yes, yes, yes. Regular full size. I say full size MP5 stuff's more available than K stuff. Yeah. There's more yeah. options for yeah. old stocks and, and new stuff. Um, but the reason I I don't have a Pakistani gun, and I wanted to make sure that our stuff fit on the Pakistani gun. And it does. It just fit initially really kind of tight, and it took off some of the paint underneath as it slid off. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? Look, look, look. If you want a nice, tight-fitting stock, that's the way it's going to be. If it's you more want important. a loose, sloppy, if you want a sloppy seconds kind of stock, then get somebody else's that fits all loose. Um, 
I was gonna. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like those Pakistani guns come in with metal lowers, metal hand guards. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. That's odd. Metal... I mean, how? That's old it's... school, isn't it? Uh, yes, no, we, it uh, show is. us the hand guard. Well, hold on. I can't. You have big well, meat. The, not the hand guard. The, the grip. Oh. The grip. Module. Oh, the grip. Right. Oh. Oh, the. Yeah. The the modern oh. day, even I mean even MP5s going back to the eighties were all oh, okay. plastic. Oh. I have a, I have a. Oh, I see what you're saying. Online. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have a magnum right, one so. online, but yeah, the that one, those come in with steel, steel grips on them, which is different. Yeah. So that's not the serialized part, I'm guessing. No, the, the receiver, the receiver's the serialized. Yeah, over the yeah, the top, the, the upper part of the it. Upper, kind of, yeah. The yeah. upper, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can you can use on these guns any H. It has a it has a blocking piece in the front right here. That it, that it, the stock that the lower has a slide into, you can modify any lower to to that so that thing slides in, and these are two pin lowers, so there's not it's got a front pin and a rear pin, so it's just like so how how do they how do they block those? Because I know with two pin lowers that you have to do some sort of internal block, right? It has a, it. it has a here. Let me pop the back out. See it has an internal receiver block. It it has a little thing. Yeah, it's not very. Yeah. So so. For anybody oh. curious, the full auto bolt that is in my gun, out of the box, won't fit into that into Walter's gun. That's how they make them legal semi-autos. You see that little ah, strip of metal? Ah, yes. Yep. That's all it is. That's that. That's the blocking piece. Yep. Interesting. And I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not telling people what to do, but no. when I converted my um, my Turkish gun into a, a post sample, I just basically removed that. There's a couple of other things you got to do, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, um, but once again, I'm not telling you to do that. So, yeah, the so. paint job, the paint. Job. <laughs> we are not lawyers. We're not giving you advice. <laughs> right. I'm not giving yeah, you any. Go at your own risk. Yeah. ATF probably yeah. looks at this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keep it legal, boys. Keep it legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't break laws. Life's, um, the... life's a lot sim <laughs> simpler. Yeah. Uh, the uh, so, paint, the paint I, job looks good. I I, I, I'm not, yeah, I haven't um, seen it with my own eyes, but the paint it, job. Looks good. It is it is okay. I mean, it's okay. not of the, of the same quality as say the Turkish guns or even, definitely not a German gun. But it's also not as expensive either. So um, let me turn this light on up here. Yeah, so I was just about to say put the light on for crying. I don't know. Yeah, you were trying ah, to be mysterious at the beginning of this. Okay, no, it looks different in the light, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's not bad. I mean, to, I I shoot my guns, so it's like yeah, yeah it's that's gonna get thing. scratched. It's gonna get this. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, get yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, if you want to if you want a safe queen, then you know get a safe queen. Um, it comes in the back normally with this plastic cap. Um, Let's so see. It's a uh, go it's right a there, pistol. Yeah. It's, it's imported as a pistol. Yes, it's brought in as a pistol. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, um, no, um, like I said, I I got this because I, first I didn't have a Pakistani gun. Secondly, I don't have a reverse stretch model. And the price was, they had a little bit of a sale going on with it. And they had them in stock, too, which I was really amazed that they had them in stock. And um, the, the reverse stretches, to me, seem like the best of both worlds, to be honest. Um, because... You get the shorter barrel because it's again you're a pistol caliber. You don't need a um, you don't need a super long barrel for a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter is optimized for like five inch barrel. But you get the longer receiver, so it's a little gentler on your shoulder. And if we were ever to put a uh, trigger, a full auto trigger pack into that and fired it full auto, it's a little slower than a, a real a real K. So it's kind of it's kind of best of both worlds. I feel like. Yeah. Um, it fired fine first in the video that I made up there. You can see on um, on Safety Arbor Firearms. I did a sh I did a short and I did a video, a little short little video. Never fired it before. Pulled it out of the box. Pow 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 pow. No problems. When you look internally at the castings of things, it looks a little rougher than a than some of the other ones. Was but the trigger? Well, how was the trigger? I didn't get a chance to look at that video. I know you. I we call the trigger, trigger normal H. Normal yeah. HK. Okay. HK roller uh, guns, I, they all feel the same. Mm -hmm. I'm not a trigger whore or, or a pretty boy when it comes to triggers, so um, this is not designed to be a uh, 
<laughs> oh, let's check the reset on your MP5. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. well, no, no, this is this is a blaster, man. This is a sub gun. The manual that comes with this from Pakistan is a submachine gun manual. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. And on, it's, so, so you have that. Part, Where is that? With the manual? No, no, yeah. Um, it's right here. Ah. Oh. Oh. There you go. Pakistan Ordnance cool. Factories. Oh, okay. Yes. So there's, I mean, technically there's no difference between a semi and a, uh, besides a collector switch, everything else internally works the same way, so. Yeah. Um, Lola is trying to find out where you got that from. Did you buy that direct? Uh, Atlantic okay, Firearms. Atlantic Firearms, okay. Um, um, I, I, fell, I fell for a typical internet. I got an email from him and I was scrolling through and I say, oh, Pakistani MP5K. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. A little right. bit cheaper? In, a little bit is cheaper it, in stock? I don't... Is it a li it, how much cheaper than the... Um, how much cheaper than the Sentry Arms is it? Because I thought... I thought there was, that's the same um, price as the Sentry Arms, no? Probably, from what I paid, and probably by the time you get done buying the Sentry Gun and you ship it, it's probably close to 16 and this was closer to 15 so... Okay, okay. Cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, a little I bit. I mean, there is that... There is... There is that that thing about it being made in Pakistan, and you think it's a reverse stretch. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, reverse stretch um, basically sounds like short to me. But okay, threaded and uh, trilog. Oh yeah, let's see. What you got? Is well, it? Well, while through the front of it, is it threaded and trilog? Oh yes, yeah, very good. Yeah. The, yeah. the funny part is they give you a they give you a thread protector for the threads on the front. And it's missing a major thing, in my opinion. The thread protector. It's called a, it's called a hole through the center. <laughs> so it's, what? It's, bas it's basically a cap. It's basically a yeah, cap. It's a so yeah. Yeah. I, if you, uh, I, I, if you, if you shoot that with that on, that's fun times. I, fun I times. Could I could probably almost guarantee you somebody has. Um, <laughs> Is there anything in the manual about that? Please remove <laughs> the. Uh, I, the nipple? <laughs> That's a nipple. <laughs> honest, honestly, I didn't read the manual. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yes, oh, it, is, it is both thread. It, it's both three lug and threaded. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, cool. like I said, it is. It is what it is. It's um. It's it's yeah. a military gun. This thing will work fine in a military situation. I mean, if they're not. They're not fancy. They're not. They don't have fine triggers in them. They yeah. are functional pieces. No. MP5s right. are awesome. MP5s are awesome. No, no, absolutely. Um, shooting. Shout out to Shooting Gallery. Emmy, any, excuse me, any who's out there. Uh, Asper Warrior is out there. He says free barrel obstruction with every MP5K. Hey, <laughs> Asper Warrior uh, has uh, been pinging me over the weekend. He, I, I was, I think, the uh, reason. He said he had a... Uh, Ender 5, a 3D printer, Ender 5 3D printer for like a year now that he mm -hmm. hasn't been, he had never put together or hadn't finished leveling it and getting it ready. Got it done over the weekend and uh, got his fir first print done, so congratulations to oh, him cool. for getting that done. Yeah, yeah. What did he print? What you he should print? ask him that. what you print? Ask. what you call him? Ask. Aspel Warrior? Is that what oh. it is? Axpel Warrior? Yeah. Uh, it's pronounced Ass Warrior. Print Warrior, dude. The put is silent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mike's good peoples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got his. He I got saw him when I was in Arizona recently. Am I the only one that got broken up there, or is that just everybody? Else? Uh, yes, I was yeah, fine. I yeah, I didn't notice anything. Um, my audio is probably terrible for anyone who's wondering. You might be hearing. It, it's not fan. great. It's th th this is a this is a living nightmare. I'm in. This is not my van that I'm in this is a uh, this is like a loner while my van is getting worked on which literally they pulled out the generator from my van and sent it off to the Onan factory because it's got serious some issues with it it's it, 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 it let me translate it's F <laughs> no it's weird it's weird they told me that it's making <laughs> the reason why I'm having that issue that I've been having since I bought the van is which this is a new generator this is not even the original generator in there it's doing two 221 amps 
and it's only supposed to, yeah it's supposed to do 220 but it's doing 221 and, and that's the system, like burning stuff out yeah the system can't handle that so it trips the gfi and i don't uh, understand uh, why so yeah um, some, let me trans let me, yeah. let me translate again you have a conflicted generator yeah so uh, <laughs> so and i'm in this so this this loaner that i have which is a sprinter a mercedes sprinter okay uh, the AC is not working. So, literally, literally, so so the AC here in the back, I'm in the back of it, the AC in the back is not working. So in order to get any kind of AC in here, I have the AC on up front running, but this is the biggest sprinter van you could get. So that AC is is not blowing strong enough to come back here. So check this out. This is literally what I have to do. So you guys see this, there goes me. There you go, right? Here's my stuff here. So now, do you do you guys see this industrial, this rigid air mover up front? That's a, bit, that's a serious blow job you yeah. got going. <laughs> see, this is the AC up there. And Lola has this rigid air mover. And so that that doesn't trip out everything, Lola has an extension cord coming from the house. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> okay. Uh, this is All redneck, right, just, redneck just, engineering just, going down here. Just so I don't, just so I don't shoot the end of the gun off, I put a proper uh, thread protector. Oh, let's see what you got there. Good. All right, there with you a go. hole in the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. So I get to finish yeah. talking. Okay, so went up to yeah, my you got, dad's We're, we're so. gonna take a quick break. Hold on. We're gonna take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back okay. here in a second. Walther Arms has been making concealed carry handguns for over 90 years, starting with the PPK. Today, Walther is based in the good old US of A and still builds quality firearms like the PPQ and PDP for personal defense and competition. So when you're in the market, please consider Walther Arms. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Walther Arms. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read this comment <laughs> from... Okay. Asper Warrior, he says, uh, he says, ax, like I'm going to ask you a question, he, uh, Paul, like your old man, Paul, you know, warrior, so ax, ax, Paul, warrior, like I'll kill your ass if you call me ass warrior. <laughs> 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 so there you go, if you want to know. Uh, yeah, what, what, I don't know, we're so mature, what would we do if you don't want us to call you ass warrior? I, I have not even, I hadn't even thought of that, so yeah. thank you I, for putting that in my thought of it now. Yeah, I think we might call you Ass Warrior from now on. You know? Not uh, me, I didn't do it. Trust me, I didn't do it. Yeah, he says uh, Hank's got to plug in his van but still runs on gas. No, it doesn't make any sense if I plug it in because the AC's not working. The yeah, AC doesn't can't. work at all for nothing, no matter what. No, it's just blowing hot air from outside. Yeah. So, because otherwise I would have it over by my plug, and I would just have it plugged in, and then I would run off you of run the on AC. Short, you run on short power. Yeah, I would run off shore power. But we are technically running on shore power, because Lola has a cord going out of this van to that, so, so, so that that thing, yeah, yeah, it's real, yeah, really nice, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is total insanity. <laughs> Can, can I finish my weekend? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 go for it. Okay, so Saturday shot the little MP5, brought up the Turkish 9mm. Sweet, mm -hmm. sweet shooting, very, you know, 9mm and a heavy pistol like this just goes pop, 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 pop. It doesn't, like, jump all over the place. None of that, yeah. none of that monkey business. Yeah. Magazine's a little hard to load, in my opinion. you got to really get down on it to get the rounds in the magazine, but, uh, but, uh, Worked fine, functioned great. Um, took that 16 shot Turkish uh, shotgun up there. Okay. Eh, eh. Sometimes run, sometimes not, depending, you know. Maybe it needs some, opio some opium or something. It needs a lot of opium. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but I think, some, I think it was some a motivation. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a cellar belled um, double up buck. It's not full power stuff. So, ah, uh, um, it doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't run perfect. It ran, but it didn't run reliably. Had some stove pipes and stuff like that. Is this um, old sell it, sell it? No, it's not old. It's just oh. it's just lower lower brass stuff. 
Okay. So, okay. Um, Sunday, Father's Day, you know. Mm. I got my dad staying with me, you know, doing his uh, whole. Uh, yeah. How was old thing. man, uh, old man Keller? Um, he's uh, he's doing all right. I mean, look, compared to that day that he had it, it's like a whole nother person. Um, Good for him. Still got that grumpy yeah. ass, grumpy ass attitudes back and everything else too. So. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we don't know where um, he got that from at all. Oh, his his father was probably a little bit like that. Oh, he oh, didn't get okay. it from Walter. It's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you want me to tell you how his? Yeah. Let, me, let me let me just relate something here. You know, let me tell you how my grandfather ended up in the hospital. His uh -huh. father. Mm -hmm. They were putting a roof on his house. He, my grandfather used to live in Tampa, one block from us. Um, and it was in the summertime, and they, my dad, his two brothers, were helping putting a roof on the house. My grandfather, who had heart problems, had to get up on the roof and make sure they were doing it. Mm -hmm. God, he had. What do you mean? Yeah. You say he had to. He 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 had no other choice, or he was just a no. particular kind of individual. <laughs> yeah, he had to make sure they were doing it right. Okay, all right. Um, he ended up in the hospital and he died. Hmm. Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, that's and that because of the heat and the, you know you have yeah, yeah. heart oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not something. It's not something to play with. When it's, oh, yeah. You know how hot it was out. It, it's oh, it's hot. Yeah, been hot every, It's been hot everywhere, but it was freaking intense on Saturday at my dad's place. My dad lives in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I cut the grass on the riding mower, and it's working, kind of. It's working mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's I got from Hank. That's a yeah. I was gonna a, say you should have brought that mower over here. <laughs> it's been a cantankerous <laughs> fellow, but it's running right now. Uh -huh. um, cut the grass. I had one shirt on, I got done with that, and I was going to make some video, and you know, I got sweaty, so I took that shirt off, put a fresh one on. Within five minutes, I'm, I'm getting sweaty again. And I'm, yeah, just, I'm, about right. just lo mm -hmm. I'm just loading ammo and getting ready to take some video, and it was just like, oh, me, damn, it's hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I got all that done, did the shooting, and then I, like my dad said, I, took my, I told my dad, on the way home, we'll get some lunch. He goes, yeah, lunch. Oh, yeah. you took him with you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted him to see everything. And, you know, just, oh, I, okay. I told him before we left. I told him before he left, though, you're not staying. He goes, I know. Because so, um, <laughs> he probably thought about it. <laughs> well, we, yeah. we got him a primary care physician down here. He didn't oh, have Oh, cool. One. Yeah. So he's mm -hmm. going tomorrow to see the primary care because all the other ones, his insurance requires you have a primary care physician. Yeah. Um, Typically, yeah. So, um... On the way home, he goes, we're stopping at Charlie's, Dee. Charlie's? Charlie's where? Charlie's in Crystal River. It's good. And I'm mm -hmm. like... Crystal River, got okay. a couple. There's a couple of restaurants right on the uh, inlet in Crystal River mm -hmm. um, where all the manatees are and the boats and the diving stuff and all that. So we stopped at Charlie's. Had a, I had stuff, crab meat stuff, shrimp, and I had... Uh, escargot. Everybody likes escargot. Oh, I like Lord, escargot. No, yeah. no, that's disgusting. Oh, it was, no, it was good, good stuff. stuff. It no, escargot is oh, disgusting. Oh. No, it's good. <laughs> good. It's like garlic <laughs> buttery. Oh, that's yeah. snails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little piece of bread with it. Enough, right? Right? They're snails. No. Mm -mm. He doesn't do bottom feeders. He doesn't do bottom feeders. That's um, I'm not that is literally a slug. <laughs> well, it was a good was slug. slug. It was a garlicky <laughs> slug. Um, yes, uh, uh, disgusting. That was a good lunch. I, w I would, I would have been happy with Wendy's or McDonald's, but we went to Charlie's yeah. and had a proper, uh, we had a proper lunch. Did they so, have lobster? Uh, uh, they probably do if you want it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lobster's I, okay. I crabs that. okay. You know. I mean, whatever. Crabs else. literally kill dead that stuff. Was <laughs> that was Saturday. So Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, Sunday um, was Father's Day. So. I didn't get outside the house till about noontime, and I went outside to work on my Pinsgauer because it's not running right right now. And um, I made some adjustments to the valves and did all that stuff, and it's a little better. But I got to get the carburetors rebuilt. The carburetors are, are yucky. <coughs> so um, mm -hmm. I uh, and after that, we got some uh, Jason's Deli for lunch. And mm. the funny part is for that, the neighbor, the neighbor is next door. I see him come like around lunchtime. They get out with a Jason's Deli bag, and I'm like. Damn, Jason Deli sounds good. <laughs> so, we ended up with Jason Deli. Um, and, and then, we're all sitting in the house about 4.35 o'clock, and my dad's like, 
where are we going to eat? <laughs> it's like, okay, where do you want to go, Dad? I don't care. Just go somewhere. And it's like, okay, well, went over to uh, Cracker Barrel and had some, uh, had some Cracker Barrel. So um, that's a good dinner. Yeah. Cracker Barrel's got good stuff. Oh, I got my, I got my, I got my dumplings fixed. You know, I got the dumplings. Oh, their dumplings are fantastic. Oh, Cracker I got my, Barrel is I got, one of the I most got, horrible foods on the face of the planet. What is wrong with you? Terrible. Cracker Barrel is terrible. Cracker they don't Barrel make, is, is they the don't make best. anything properly. Everything I ever get there is perfect. The only thing I like what about Cracker Barrel wrong? is they let you park your RV in the in the parking lot. Well, then you're you're but, okay. Anyways, no. <laughs> I had I enjoyed my meal. I had some steak. Ah, we I love some Cracker Barrel here. I had some macaroni and cheese. That carved out, man. Some macaroni and cheese, uh, some corn. It was good. My dad had uh, uh, some kind of trout, and he ate the whole freaking thing. It was gone. So, yeah, it was good. That was your that was your Father's Day. Uh, yeah. And my dad my dad paid for it too. So. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yep, I've been cooking for his ass every morning since right. then. You're making <laughs> bread. <laughs> I mean, he, he's your, not simple, your, he's your not food like, is good, Walt. Your food, that I will give you. Walter knows how to do good food. Peggy too. Peggy's good. I'll eat he, food from Walter or Peggy or some of and some of the places they go to. But no and cracker. I, and I know. No, not cracker. I know, I know. I know the stuff that, that Strange doesn't eat, so I know. I yeah. know how to cook for him. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah, Walter takes yeah. care of me. He makes. He knows like a special. When I hang out with him and his military vehicle buddies, they all get mad at me because I get fed first. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what the he hell's just, going on? <laughs> Strange has special. He's got special needs. He can't help. Yeah. Yes. They're like, what? Why is this guy? Who is this guy? And why is he this being guy? fed? Yeah. Why is he being fed first? Why is he first on the line? I'm like reparations, mofos. Keep it moving. He's got special. He's got special needs. That's all. <laughs> keep, it, <laughs> keep it moving. Forty two chill said lots of pork. No. No. no this is exactly. No, this is exactly why I have to be fed See, first. That's your, that's your problem is you can't eat bacon and eggs. And that is the best breakfast food oh, ever. Oh, you can eat eggs. Eat yeah, eggs. eggs is good. Eggs you is just, good. No, no, no. Bacon and eggs. I didn't uh, say just Turkey eggs. bacon. Turkey bacon and eggs is That's fine. not a thing. Get out of here. It is that's a thing. Really. Turkey that's bacon is not so bad. alien carcasses <laughs> as far as I know. I won't, don't even get me started about that. And, beef uh, ba- I like, like beef bacon, bacon, too. Beef bacon is good. All right, so you know, here we go. That's like having a soy burger. You, no, you, no, you it's not. Soy? No, it's not like. Uh, no, how's your I'm mouth? Just, I'm, I'm saying that whole. It you is know, meat. I don't eat meat, vegan. No, oh, but it's yes, meat. Okay. It's beef. I'll give pork. you that. I'll, I'll give and you or that. it's turkey. Pork. <laughs> nah, pork. Nah. Big butt is the best butt. Pork <laughs> does not even agree with you. Patrick. If pork agrees with me just fine. It's that that particular one in And in hot weather, uh, definitely you should not be allowed to eat pork. In hot pork weather. and I are good friends. <laughs> well acquainted. Yeah. So that was that was my weekend in a in a in a nutshell. Um, cool. not a bad weekend, just uh Yeah. Um, and I was talking about spending gas driving out to my dad's and back. Used about oh three quarters close to three quarters of the suburban's gas tank. Is that gas um, or diesel? That's a gas, right? It's gas. It's gas. Yeah. It's gas. Yeah. yeah. That's so, a big tank, too. Um, it's like a 32-gallon tank when it's empty. 32? Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Our so old suburban had a our old suburban had a 42-gallon gas. Tank. Holy moly! That ah. that was so that is so freaking awesome. I'm telling you. You can go and go and go and go. Yeah. The new suburbans sometime. are pretty you know, efficient. Are you getting a new suburban, or are you getting that? Uh, you getting that thing from England? Is, okay. I'm gonna probably do a Grenadier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the old, old suburbans old are suburban. really efficient, though. Now, yeah. You know what they've done to them? They put independent suspension in the back. They just, they just, they just pushed them out. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> they pushed them out. Um, uh, but anyways, the old, the old suburban just flipped two hundred thousand miles. Oh wow! Ooh, wow, we. Yeah, I've never I've never had a vehicle with two hundred thousand miles ever. Um, what, uh, GMC? I don't know That's I a GMC. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. General, yeah, Chevrolet. Yeah. Chevrolet. It's a General Motors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? Um, well, how old, many liters is that engine? Is that like a 
five something, five, five two, three, I think. Five point three, three. Five okay. Three, I think. Mm. It's mm. it's the smaller LS that's engine. Yeah. Okay. But um, but no, I mean um, the old suburban we had had when we got rid of it, it had one hundred and sixty thousand miles. So, um, and it was running fine. We got one of those. I kind of miss my old we, one, the older body style. We drove uh, two times ago, two two trips ago when we went to North Carolina. We got a we rented a suburban. Mm-hmm. Um, and god damn, that thing was the most comfortable. Uh, it was fully that loaded. That was efficient, right? Super was, was, did you have good good uh, gas mileage on it? Good for what it is. I think twenty five right. highway. So it, really? but it, mind mm-hmm. you, it's it is a car on or it's a house on wheels. Oh, yeah. Be- massive thing. Yeah. But it was yeah. yeah, I think it was between yeah. twenty two and twenty five on the highway. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Yeah. Yeah, I mean fully loaded, like running up to the Knob Creek with a full of stuff, going up and down to the mountains. I get like seventeen miles per gallon, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was very the, the main thing for us was it was so comfortable. The dog had his own seat. It was big enough yeah. where I could put the dog bed in like the middle seat in the back. And he had his own seat all to himself. Like, that thing was massive. It was awesome. Yeah. It was really, Those things get up and really move. Expensive. Yeah, they get up and move, oh, yeah. too. No, it had no, they, no problem yeah. at, all, at all with that thing. It was great. Yeah. I mean, w- w- once you go suburban, you won't go back. There's no way you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's very, no it was a very nice vehicle. Um, we Armin might become and, a, a GM family. Yeah, Armament and Axis says, what I was driving, the odometer stopped last year at uh, 247,000 miles. What I'm driving now has a little over 200,000, he says. I had the... Do you remember the first Escalades that came out? They were basically yeah. the same. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing, the first Escalade. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. the higher it was range. Awesome. Well, the es- it, it, Escalade is just a, a decked out a Cadillac Suburban. That's all yeah, yeah. Mean. I should have yeah. never gotten no. rid of that. That was, a good, that, was a good, that was a good one. And I paid it off You know you can't keep cars. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, though. It was good. I had zero issues with that freaking thing. Just had to put gas in there. You know, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it, I, you gotta. It, it's like this, okay? You want you want the benefits. Of, right now, gas is crazy, but you know, if you want the benefits of the big vehicle, then you just you just step up to the plate and do it. Pay the price. Don't get one. Don't get one. Yeah. Don't get one you know? yeah. So let me ask you guys this: since we're in the news thing here, and you know, try to be somewhat on on topic or whatever. Um, oh, don't. Did you did you <laughs> did you did you see? Uh, Biden falling over on his bicycle. Did anyone look at this? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, on like Friday that happened. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even realize I, it happened because I was just like hanging out with the family over the weekend. It was, it was on the news. He fell over. I, and then... I, did you see the video? I, yeah, yeah. I it heard is, about it first, uh, and then I, when I finally watched it, I was like, he is such a fucking embarrassment. Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> it, so exactly. I, t- so you guys See, ride bicycles, right? You ride bicycles. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote, yeah. So the yeah. Stra- you know, sometimes you get off a bicycle and the like it's got the strap for your foot to go in there to hold you. Some of them, not no, all of them. I have never owned a bike with a what? strap on the tank. The, I don't the, need it. No, the People racing have... ones have those stupid strap things. I think I think it's yeah. it's dumb. It's but dumb. Why why did they put that clown in that? You know why? That you know why they photo. did it? That they was... did it because of what we're talking about. I think they were photo trying op. to do a stupid photo op trying to say to people Oh, gas oh, is expensive. Really get on your bicycle, mofos. That's oh, what they were trying to say. Yeah, they were trying you to say people I... get on your bicycle. Gas too expensive for you? Eat cake. <laughs> get on your bicycle. You know yeah, I, that's you true. Know what I, 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 I'm not Chinese, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't a fucking Chinaman having to ride my bike around the city. Uh huh. <laughs> it, it, ain't, it ain't the way it is. And it, why would you? And here, here's a man. How old is Joe Biden? He's seventy something. Eighty. Right? Isn't he eighty? I, I thought he was eighty. I, think so. I thought he was over eighty. Maybe. When is a la- when is a last Look, time someone that looked that, that up? Sort of I don't want to mess up the when internet is... here by looking it up. I'm guessing he's over eighty. That... When has he rode a bike last? Dude, he went down, and you know what's funny? Like I looked at all these different acts because everyone is recording this. You know, the minute this happened, people started uploading it. There's videos 100%. that are millions of views, and I'm looking at one dude was like, "Hey, now," <laughs> when he went down. <laughs> There's like all, I mean, there's all a, different angles. Someone needs to take a video and make it look like that Matrix spin around thing of him going down because you can see every different angle and the and the uh, what, what you call them Secret Service trying to like. That's the crazy thing. I, I was the main thing I noticed watching no that sense. was uh-huh. 
Imagine being Secret Service and your job is like, God damn it, now we gotta take the old ass dude out on his bike and hope he doesn't do something stupid. Yeah. Because they're, yeah. they're sitting there riding and they got their earpieces and you, they, they're not... He got up pretty shit. fast. He got up pretty fast, but he crashed. I think what happened was he was about to crash into like this woman and her kid or something. Slow it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But, There's a break on it. But, but the whole thing is why? why? I'm telling you, they were trying to why? do some kind of don't stupid have... photo op that we need to take our bicycles. I, I get that. But right. <laughs> don't you have people smart enough to realize this is not going to go well? Mr. Okay. President, you might yeah. not want to He's not going to wheel around up. on a bicycle in D.C., right? He's not going to wheel why around do, on why, a bicycle in D.C. Why do it at all? Why? Gotta do the photo op. I mean, Gotta do the photo you, 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 you probably don't remember because you were too young or you were in England or you were someplace else. Remember old, mm. old Dukakis climbing up in a tank acting like he was a badass? I've seen video of that. Yes, he had on the... Yeah, 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 the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like... He had a, wait, what? that was... That, I was here, I think. Wasn't that in 80-something? 88 or something like that. I forget what it was. It was 88, I was ago. here, yeah. I've been here since... I've been living okay. in America since 1983. I mean, yeah. That's like that's like Obama in a shotgun. What? <laughs> Dumb fuck? I mean, it's like they do this stuff. They do oh, this stuff thinking that somehow watch. they're gonna. Ch- why would why why would I ride a bicycle? Because a stupid, dumb fucking old president is riding a bicycle. Why would I do that? Just make life. Just try to. I think I think that Biden is trying to be a badass. He could have broke his hip. He could have broke his head. And then you know what we'd be in, we'd, then we'd have Kamala. That dumb, we'll that have dumb Kamala. Ass. Kamala, Kamala, I want to be whatever the hell she is today um, right. as the president. Word salad. You know, and it's like, you, you know what's funny? Let me just say this for a second before I forget this. You know, oh, we've got like 20, se- 20 seconds. People talked about the word salad with Kamala Harris, and I actually looked at it one day and I was like, what the hell is she saying? It's embarrassing. Yeah. Well, uh, once yeah, again. I don't know if anyone has seen this, but it literally is just words. We're, we're, we're going to take a quick nothing. break. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. Right. We're going to come back. Yeah, we're going to be right back here. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like High Point Firearms and Full Forge Gear, bags and gear for everyday life. Did you know High Point is an American family-owned and operated company located in Ohio with over 30 years of manufacturing experience? High Point is proud to be the home of the working man's gun and your source for affordable handguns and carbines with a lifetime warranty. So when you're in the market, please consider High Point. So, um, so this is, uh, let me see, someone, someone looked it up. Who is this? Uh, 42 Chilled said that, uh, he's gonna be 80 in November. So he's 79, yeah, doesn't have any business. If you're the leader of the free, oh, I, I'm not even gonna say it. Uh, I don't care what he short. does, man. But in yeah, short. yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, 42 Chill said his head is already broke. He might get fi- <laughs> he might true. get fixed. He might get fixed. He might stop sniffing people. You oh, know, like in some I, of those. I, 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 yeah, it's crazy. It's it doesn't make this sense. Is good, this, this is not a good idea. Sir. Yeah. You know, this is not tough. You, you know, what happens? Well, you know, fuck you. It's probably, I can see Joe Biden. He's one of these people that probably tells you if you don't like what he yeah. tells you, he probably so, says a hey fuck man, off. So. He, this is what he's going to do. He's going to come in and whisper. Let me explain something to you. I'm, that let me tell you, that is a sign of evilness. When a when a person like talks down there and nose at you, like he's always condescending when he whispers. Someone mm-hmm. who does that has the like the utmost contempt for you. You know, it's like I'm gonna talk to you quietly and slowly, like you are a stupid little child who is only good for sniffing. They think you're dumb. That's why he comes up yeah, and thinks you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I oh man! And then uh, what is it? Asper Warrior says uh, that he is looking forward to Kamala being president. He says the world oh, will could end. Could you imagine? <laughs> As nukes fly across the sky, crackling awkwardly at our enemy. No, oh, she'll be cackling. Yeah, she's weird, man. Yes. Um, yeah. Like, so someone asked Kamala Harris, what, 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 you know, what are you doing about the high prices at the pump? Well, there's Nothing. prices at the pump. And basically sandwich. And what we have to think about is prices at the pump 
and sandwiches. Because when you go to the go pub, circles, you need a yeah. sandwich. Yeah, and I'm like, what? Did she, did she, did she even hear the question? No. <laughs> It's, I'm not kidding, Walt. Oh, you have so to funny. look at this. One day, I because I, I don't actually like looking at her talk about anything, but I was like, is this really a word salad thing that people I, are using? And I looked, and I was like, oh, wow. It's, it's embarrassing. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. That's, yeah. that's not, that, This whole bunch is... We in big trouble. We are I, I in saw, big I'm, trouble. I, I was riding around in the car today, and I saw somebody had a back of their car. Biden mm-hmm. Harris, and then it had this cute little phrase about something about probably about Trump and him being mean or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'll take the Anytime. meanest. I'll I'll take the meanest, nastiest, back motherfucker in the world versus <laughs> these ret- these charts that we have now. That that yeah, I, I don't care how mean you are, how much you tweet and you and you say stuff like this. I don't, I don't feel $6. Trump was not. I don't, I don't know. Let me say, I could say a lot of stuff. I know Patrick wants to say something. I could say a lot of shit about Trump. If we want to sit here and talk negative, who was Trump mean? Who was he mean to? Well, who was Trump mean to? Tone, remember that his tone wasn't presidential. His uh, tone okay. wasn't presidential. Yeah. It don't say these things. Yeah, like you remember that comment? Yeah. Oh, man. And it's like, you know the, what? The, it, the, it, the people of the world, Putin needs to be afraid of whoever is the leader of America, of the free world. He needs to be like, oh, this guy's crazy. Hello? He will literally Hello? bomb the shit out of me. Let me let me chill. Let me just chill. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, and look what happened. Soon as soon yeah. as Grandpa got... And, 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 okay, Trump's a Grandpa, too, many times over. Mm-hmm. But as soon as a Grandpa-looking guy gets elected, what happens? The Chinese start their shit again. The Russians start their shit again. North mm-hmm. Korea started talking shit again. And, and oil prices shot through the roof. Yeah, we need we need Hector Alizondo Camacho. What was that? <laughs> We're getting close to that. Okay, <laughs> that's the that's the president from uh, Idiocracy, Walter. Walter's like, yeah, no, no, We're real damn close. Yeah. You know, I, I watched a movie last night. I was on my son watched Mission Impossible, the first one. Oh, okay. 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 And I'm sitting there watching this, and I've never seen it before. Because I'm not a Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible One. Watching, You're saying Mission Impossible and I'm, One? I, okay. Yeah, and I'm looking at it going. What the fuck? Who's killing who? Who's on what side? <laughs> everybody, who's every, on first? Everybody, everybody's double, everybody's double crossing yeah. each other and stabbing and killing each other. And I'm like, this ain't real. This shit don't happen like this. Sorry, it don't, it don't go down like it's a movie. This in the real world. It's and I'm what like, my, I'm it's like, what my mother affectionately called picture like a picture. You ever, did I, I ever like, tell you okay, that picture like a picture? Look, if if I know that you're gonna. Uh-huh. Maybe off me a little later, and I'm in that situation. You might not leave the room. I'm not going to off you, you in not. any ways, Walt. Uh, I don't want uh, uh, when uh, anything no, what I'm to, saying, to do with the word is, "off" is happening. Or, or, you, or I don't want cross, or, you know, Oh, oh, the okay. Cute girl, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the cute, the cute girl's got his eye, and they're looking. And it's like I don't care how cute and good you smell. If I know you might kill me later, guess what? No, no, no. It ain't working that way, biatch. <laughs> You're gonna. <laughs> You're gonna wish you were dead already. This you is know, only, it's like, th- by the way, this is only Mission Impossible One that Walter's talking about they, with they, the old technology probably, from the right, 90s. Right. Get, <laughs> the next movie, the next movie's probably got more silly and silly and more silly after that. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Patrick, I, Pat, I, go ahead, go ahead. I don't mind. A, I don't mind a good think, movie like that with the t- intrigue and all that, but it gets so twisted and turned around you don't know who's what and who, who's on what first, i could say second. is from what i remember of the chick in mission impossible one she was too bony ass for me to to ride on top of a train for i'm sorry <laughs> if you if you're that bony ass you got no ass at all like you with no ass at all and me with no ass at all that just leaves you a lot of babies children. with no asses yeah, yeah exactly yeah, flat, flat, that's flat. if I'm going on your boniness <laughs> quoting. There's too many bony ass women in these movies that I'm not dying over anything that bony. Once the once the helicopter flew in the tunnel, oh. I said, "Fuck this! Is, this is this is fucking stupid." Come on, come on, come on. Helicopter t- can't fly in no tunnel. Patrick, Sorry. you have to. I'm telling you, a YouTube channel that would make so much money is us showing Walter, Walter reviewing movies yeah Walter looking at him, like us showing him movies and he's just losing yeah. his shit what the fuck can I can I no. yeah Purdy, Purdy, Purdy Boy Cruz the whole time you know he's perfect you know he's everything perfect 
hair is perfect, everything. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. got the he's got the explosive bubble gum strip. <laughs> Pulled the whole building up with a piece of bubble gum strip. I was just oh, like Lord. going, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, I mean, you could do that. You just sit you sit and watch these movies and go, but you, I, I, if, if you're going to do that, you got to be. It ain't. I'm not going to cut anybody any slack. I don't care what color they are. What oh, so you're do. saying you agree no. to this? Okay, Patrick. Nobody, gonna... nobody gets no slack. Nobody. Sorry. We're gonna have to do this. We to... could, we could be the next uh, Jake and uh, whatever Paul, <laughs> Logan Paul or whatever the hell those. Remember the two, the two the two movie critic the two movie critic guys that always Cisco Cisco you know, and one, Ebert. Yeah, one yeah. with the glasses and the in the mustache yeah. and the whole yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cisco <laughs> and Ebert. Um, yeah. yeah, I actually met Jake and Logan Paul's. Uh, Dad, when I was in uh, in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, when I was at the Overland show, I actually ran into him. Um, that's weird trivia Anyways, out there. Yeah, yeah. Patrick, I, you had I, Patrick had something he was going to say about this. I don't know if he even remembers. Uh, no, I don't I remember. Something about Trump. I don't remember. Yeah, remember. yeah. No. Walt was talking about a movie. I was actually looking with the kids at uh, the James Bond series with Daniel mm -hmm. Craig. So we went back to the first Daniel Craig, which is Casino Royale. Which he actually had that. Wait, that was not a um, that was not an MP5, right? That he had in that movie. That was a HK. I don't remember. What you remember? At the tours. Oh, damn it. What no. was that? The Daniel. Uh, Crapola. You had to go in gonna... IMFDB. Yeah. Um, it looked like an MP5, but it had a massive suppressor on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have any kind of bandwidth or I'm going to crash the whole show. Yeah, maybe uh, don't do that. We'll just discuss it. Anyways, he had a cool ass gun. Yeah, Casino Royale, he had a he had a cool MP5 looking gun, but I'm not sure exactly what it was in there. Um So Yeah, the channel is the Movie Rant channel. So yeah, basically movie you watch rants. movies and, I can see it. And you just yeah. And you tear it, and they pull out, they do all this crazy shit with the guns. Yeah. And all I know what movie I'm going to make you look at first, The Crying Game. I've never heard of that. Okay, I've well, heard of the uh, Patrick, look up The Crying Game. You're going to love this movie, Walter. This is going to be you all over. You're going to love this. <laughs> yeah. This is I'm The like Crying my head, Game. My head explodes. <laughs> the Crying Game is about tanks and oh. uh, World War II. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not about. Oh, okay. Are you looking it up, Patrick? Look no, up the crying. No, game. I don't no, want to no, tell him no. and then we'll spoil it. But we uh, gotta go watch it. Watch I'm not a movie watcher. You know that. Just look, if Brian. you look up the, someone's gonna say. <laughs> oh, Brian Quick said at the very end it was a UMP. Yeah, it's a HK oh, UMP. Okay. So what is the one difference the, with one, that? Mm -hmm. Dude, the, the crying game made has out of good plastic. reviews. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying. So what is the UMP? So. So just uh, explain to me the difference between a UMP and a MP5. Uh, UMP is a direct blowback 45. It's not roller delay. It's a modernized it's made, plastic. Made gun. out of plastic. Yeah, yeah okay. it's all plastic. The whole damn thing is plastic. Okay, for, so and the UMPs it, are only 45. And they also make a 40 and a 10, but they're most common in 45. They're known for being 45. And, okay. And the gun, and in my opinion, the gun styling looks like the first grader did it. So, um, <laughs> it's like... It's all square. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, come on, man. And you know what? And these, uh -huh. these HK people, they people eat that shit up. I don't get it. They're expensive. I, you know. Oh, it's just, but it's They're, just HK, though. I mean, the, you know. Yeah. Some people have HK. You know, I know some dudes that have HK tattooed on their bodies. I'm not kidding you. It's not a temporary. That's a little wild for me. It's not a temporary tattoo either. Like, actual yeah, HK tattooed on their human flesh. <laughs> Hey, I've met several. Do, right? I've met several dudes in, since I've been in the gun game. Uh, one was a That's Marine okay. Scout sniper. He must have loved his H H and Ks. And it wasn't Peter. It wasn't Peter, by the way. Um, what you know? What I'm not gonna judge. You know? Yeah, no, it wasn't Peter. Peter was too cool to have an HK. Peter probably had like um, a cat, like kittens, tattooed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Peter was crazy. So I don't know if you know, Peter Palmer was in the first Top Shot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How old are you, Hank? <laughs> uh, How many mean? times have you said this? <laughs> over and over. But he, so Walt, Walt knows what I'm talking about. This is how me and Walter met through Peter Palmer. 
Yes. yes. And he told this story this, too. This <laughs> dude, this dude, I went to self Sophic with him, which is like shot show for special. Mm -hmm. What is it? Special yeah. operators. So, something. It's something. Like the, special. It's like the SOCOM. Um, I call it the so, I call it the so, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they actually have like spec op guys come in, do a mission, come repel down from helicopters and yeah, come in and speak. Right right yeah, it's cool. Right downtown Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone it's could, if anyone, cool. yeah, if anyone could go see that, please go do it. So Peter took me to that. Dudes, generals, major generals, super major generals are walking around this thing in uniform and all kind. And then dudes Looking are from all over the world. All over the world, yeah. you got your African at what generals. You can spend your, your tax dollars on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you got you know from people from Australia. Where anyway? So every if you're not in a if you're not in a uniform, you're in a suit. Peter Palmer was in shorts, flip flops, and a kitten T-shirt. He probably, I'm sure some people knew who he was though. Uh, yeah, and I and I saw him like talking to this general, like, and the dude is looking at him like. What the fuck is happening? Because, <laughs> you know, if you we, talk to him, you know he knows what he's talking about, but you're like, who is this guy? <laughs> we yeah. we exhibited at that show a couple years, at yeah. a couple times. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a mixture. There's foreigners, there's Americans. Yeah. The problem with those kinds of shows, unless you're a, a, a bigger defense contractor, or you, if, if you're a newbie to the game and nobody knows who you are, it, it's a hard thing to crack. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. somebody, if, if one of the, if one of the groups gets your stuff and starts to use it, then you're kind of in because they'll, yeah, they'll yep. find a way to get yeah. it. Yeah. But, but there was a it, lot it, of, yeah, there was a lot of the like the yachts out in Tampa Bay, or ships yeah. out in Tampa Bay, and then all the strippers because you know like Tampa is a is like the stripper capital. <laughs> of no, the there are a lot <laughs> of strippers in that area. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up. Right? You no, Del Mabry. No, Del Mabry is a strip capital of Florida. Yeah, sure. Tampa is a stripper capital of, of, of the universe. And there's all these. <laughs> no, not the universe. I bet you <laughs> there's more out in like Las Vegas. Mm, no. Yeah, Vegas has more strippers. I sure. doubt Vegas has more strippers than Tampa. Oh God, are you kidding me? Vegas has way more strippers than, than Tampa does, for sure. I was on this ship that they were doing a Green Beret cha like a, a charity for the Green Berets. It was like an old okay. ship in Tampa Bay, and this dude owned like a couple of strip clubs in Tampa, and he brought all the strippers. I, I bet mean, uh, Joe, you... uh, Joe yeah. Redner. Probably. Yeah, it was probably Redner or his son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just yeah. brought all the strippers. I was like, and then I'm taking Redner, pictures I, with I, strippers I, and putting it yes. on Instagram, and everyone's like, Lola is going to murder you. I was like, no, Lola, she's not, she's not going to kill me. No, no. Um, uh, Joe Redner is Mon the name for when it comes to strippers. Yeah. Mon Mons Venus on Dindale Murder. Yes. yes. Yep. There, I remember we stayed in this hotel that right next, like the, like right next to this hotel, there was an alien spaceship hotel. Do you yep. know yeah, that's 2001. Yeah. Yeah. 2001. Yeah. 2001. Yeah. And there were strip clubs like all around there. <laughs> yep. That's that is the heart of Stripper Central in Tampa. One one year when is the it? Super Bowl was in town, I went out with a friend, and um. Mm -hmm. Talking about crazy at Mons Venus. Oh friend. man, it, it was all these New Yorkers, New Yorkers down, and they were in there, and they were just the, the dollar bills were flying out of there. Right? Oh God, I bet. Yeah, it was it was so funny. I remember telling because you know, Peter likes to. He's very affectionate. Let's just put it that way. So I, like he was going somewhere to one of these things offshore, and I was like, "Look, dude, don't come back here in the middle of the night and surprise me because you will get shot." And he took me seriously. So I woke up the next morning, there's no Peter. So I'm looking for this, for him everywhere. I'm calling him, texting him, he's not at, eventually I get through to him and figure out where he's at. I go drive to pick him up. Uh, Peter has shrubbery coming out of his clothing. And I was like, he's what? He's in the bushes. Yeah, I was like, well, why did he, he have shrubs? Yeah, he literally has shrubs. And so, you know, and then I had like, you know, the um, baby wipes. I always keep like baby wipes and stuff like that. So he's cleaning up and I was like, dude, what what happened? He was like, well, you said you were going to shoot me if I came back late. So I slept in the bushes. I slept like, I was like, you you can't be serious. You slept in the bushes. He's like, yeah, it's no big deal. I just slept in the, like after the party, I went and slept in the bushes. Seriously. 
Yeah. Who was uh, what was he? Ex he's ex military, right? He's a Marine, Marine Scout sniper. Yeah. Oh, then he's Scout used sniper. to sleeping outside. That's not yeah. something new. <laughs> <laughs> he's just nuts. He, he's he's cray cray. I haven't seen him in a while, but he was awesome. Awesome dude, man. He would tongue down Sailor. Like Sailor wanted to leave with him when he was leaving. Sailor was a good dog. Yeah, but Sailor was like, I'm leaving you for this white boy right here. I'm yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm yeah. gonna go. I'm going with this, this, this dude. Is, <laughs> Fuck you. This is this is, this is Peter. Oh yeah, this is yeah, Peter's. this is his invention right here, yeah. The M MS Queen, yeah, which yeah. is basically Oh, I have one of those in the safe. I didn't realize that was his. Yeah, that's Peter, yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah. This is he made a basically a cleaning kit that's the shape of an M sixteen magazine. Yeah. So it could that's fit cool. inside your mag pouch. Yeah. Yeah. This he is did a double a bunch of these. Yeah. Oh, it fits in the. That's how it fits in your mag pouch. Yes. Your yeah. Arm yeah. Arm yeah. Arm yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Remember Walter? Okay. I think. Didn't Walt? Didn't you give us all this for Christmas one year or something? Yeah. It, it was this full had of um, ammo, which is now yeah. Yeah, a lot which, of money. Since, <laughs> which was which was the red the red and green uh, Christmas. Theme ammo, which is all you notice. This is. I have not empty, fired right? any of it. I still have the whole thing out in the safe. <laughs> I got all my ammo. <laughs> yeah. I got all my. Well, I got all yeah. my ammo. Yeah. <laughs> these these two guys shot this up. So. Um. <laughs> yeah. So you know what's weird? What do you guys think? And I know we only have like a minute and a half. What do you guys think about this ammo thing that came out over the last ammo couple? Ammo about reducing the amount of stuff from Lake. Yeah, City? like yeah, Lake City can't. They want Lake City to not sell ammo to civilians. Well, that doesn't gotta, surprise me in the least. Well, let me just uh, let me just chime in on now, or wait till we get done. Uh, we got no, a minute. Go for we it. Got a minute. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. We go. We have a minute, and then we'll continue. What do you do with all the seconds? And I'll leave that for a debate because they have thousands of rounds of seconds that they sell. Thousands, to everybody. hundreds of thousands. What do you think they're going to do with thousands. it? Who, 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 do you know how much? Do you know how much ammo the IRS is buying? Yes. Do you know how much ammo That's, the IRS? Is buying. So. IRS doesn't doesn't buy anything. Um, <laughs> technically, okay. they don't buy okay. anything. Okay, touche, touche. <laughs> yeah. They steal it. And then, yeah. um, right, 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 right. No, there's, there's all these government right. agencies, man. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. That's not that's not the reason. It's just gun control stuff. That's all. Mm -hmm. it is. That's the For way. Sure. That's the way, the way they're gonna to keep price. You know, if you see that, you all of a second you go panic buy. Yeah, man. Oh, I gotta get my leg. I they don't get want. They don't want ammo prices to come down either. Bastards. No, well, they don't want any prices no, to come down. They'd rather see the whole economy crash. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take this break and we're gonna come back. We're not just gonna go through this real easy like this. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come back and talk about this. With Arms List, you can shop the extensive list of local and nationwide firearms classified. Now with more confidence because of their built-in firewall. For only $6.99 a month for personal use or $30 a month for business vendors. So when you're in the market, please consider Arms List. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Arms List. Uh, so Ass Warrior says, um, I saw something... <laughs> uh, uh, he says, I saw something but didn't get to watch it yet about the Lake City thing being fake news. Is that true? Um, Who knows about this? I, I don't know. I don't know where I you know, see I that. I'll go watch it. Yeah. I mean, I thought what, that I thought I we had several sources confirm that. Go ahead. What I saw, why did they have that, the, bla the uh, former Obama administration chick on the... Uh, on that tied up with that ad is she is he working with biden now yeah isn't she um you're talking oh what is the name of that woman uh i don't, I don't know who you're talking about one of the one of, the, one of obama's criminals yeah yeah it's um what's oh what the hell is her name is that she's a black lady which is not like very descriptive i know oh man what was her name she was oh she was just always she was always in full bitch face mode she, she, what she the ran was cover for Obama. Yeah. Um, she ran cover, yeah. Wasn't she? It wasn't defense? Condoleezza. No, Condoleezza was, was no, Bush. Condoleezza was Bush. Was Bush. Bush yeah. What the hell? I can't remember her name. Some, oh, Susan Rice, that. Oh, Susan Rice. Susan Rice. Okay. Yeah, isn't she yeah. some kind of secretary of something in the Biden administration? Some, I don't know. Somehow she's has some kind of, uh, yeah, she's got some kind of control over that. I mean... So she's she's yeah. helping to push all this, allegedly, supposedly. I, I saw her picture in, in 
Yeah. In the article or the or the or the, the teaser about that, their picture of Facebook. Yeah, Guns and Gadget had some stuff, and then I saw uh, John Crump also talking about it. I saw Guns and Gadget Guns and Gadget mentioned her, but yeah, there's a lot. Look, there's a lot of stuff like this. These guys are up to. They're going to they're going to throw everything at the board. They're going to throw everything yeah. at the board. Yep. That's what. Well. That's what we're going to get right. until we get rid of these idiots. Or, or you neuter them, and the neutering them is in the Congress and the Senate. You have to flip that our control. Congress, our, the problem is our congressmen and senators are all pussies. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know? that, that, goes, that goes without saying, too. But yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I think we kind of know that, but the Republicans uh, never cease to disappoint me on a daily basis. 100%. <laughs> These are some punk-ass bitches. Hundred percent. What yeah. what is happening with these dudes? Cruz man says secretary of stupidity. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> so I I know that like I forgot the name of that guy. Is it Cornyn? What is the guy from Texas that got booed? John Cornyn. Cornyn, yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm I'm. Sh- I, I don't know. Uh, go ahead. It's there's a lot of weird no, stuff happening here. With he these got idiots. booed because he um. Oh God! What was it? He's he's on the wrong side of stuff. And yeah, he's are not part happy. of the. He's one of the the guys that is working on the red flag laws. And that's what it was. Up. Red flag. He's very happy with well, red flag. The, the best, way, best way to boo him is to throw him the fuck out of office. That's yeah, don't vote uh, for did these you see, people. Did you see they primaried the hell out of Liz Cheney? She's gonna be gone in November. Yeah, she's Liz Cheney. Isn't well, Liz Cheney on the January six bullshit ass committee? Yes, and that's why they're getting rid of her ass. <laughs> that that they, couldn't happen. That couldn't happen fast enough, for my opinion. Uh, they um, her constituents have primaried her out. She is not coming back. Yeah, and you it's know so there's, weird. A, there's a move. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. There's a there's a move to uh, not have Biden as the next uh, president. Oh, they're not going to run him again. The, the Democrats are not going to want to run him. I don't think. Yeah, but Biden's going yeah. to want to run. Do you think Biden's going to step that aside? That doesn't. That doesn't matter what you want to do. Yeah, homie. he doesn't have power. If, if you I, don't, I, if I, you I'm don't with have, you. <laughs> but you, you know, Biden's no money, crazy. Biden's crazy, right? Biden ain't got no money. Biden ain't yeah. got Trump money. Biden ain't got it. So, so who who do you think? Oh, uh, and Kamala. Yeah, he's Kamala, well. He has remember? money. He's but his money is oh, definitely he, not like Trump's. He, and a lot of it is hidden, so a lot of he's got a lot of Ukrainian money. Okay, Biden has a lot of Ukrainian yeah, money. Yeah, well, it's not liquid. Yeah. Um. <laughs> did you see how? Did you see how the prince of some European country was trying to come to Hunter Biden to get them to save a castle or something? Did you guys see this bullshit? Yeah, what? I saw the news on that. I didn't yeah. read the whole article, but I did. They were trying to. They were trying to get um, Hunter Biden to talk to <laughs> Joe Biden. To help them rebuild a castle. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I can't say. Is, I can't is, say is, this a, is this a is this a I'm Disney not, story? I'm not, Patrick, am it's I making farce. this up? We're no, we're living in a farce right now. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it's yeah, I mean, it's all it, nuts. How how how? You know. Yes, it's all nuts. Well, I, I, Why do they I, think I, these I, guys have that much money? But you're right, they don't have legal money Biden. that they could show anyone all like that. Biden ain't got his own jet. Biden ain't got his own. I mean, I'm not talking. I'm not talking because I'm talking mm-hmm. Trump up. The only reason Trump was able to do it because he had his own money. Yeah, yeah. he would have never gotten the That's... backing of uh, the financial backing of the no. Yes. Ever. Yeah. If he if he was a if he was a Marco Rubio or even our present governor in Florida, he doesn't have the money to run as a presidential campaign. He's no. a plain old guy. Not by himself. Yeah. So, so so you guys think so Trump's going to run again, right? You guys think so, Trump. If he wants to, he can. From what you're saying, right? Yeah, he can do I don't anything he wants. Yeah, that. yeah. And it's yeah. a kind of a write-off if you have the money. It's kind of a write-off, right? I mean, what's he got to lose, right? Yeah, yeah. but I don't think he should. Personally, I would say don't, because I don't want to see Trump be president. He he did his thing. I'm not hating on him or anything like that. I think I feel like Trump did his thing. He's part of history. He was president. I voted for him two times. Not going to do it again. Not going to do it. Not, not gonna, gonna do it. Would <laughs> not be prudent at this juncture. Not, not gonna do it. I'm over it. <laughs> I, w- I would like to see someone else. Okay, so who's gonna if they if you think it won't be Biden, no who do you think they're gonna oh. put up if not Biden? They're they're gonna primary know. all of those those hacks again. Hmm. 
it's going to be tough. They don't have. Everybody what about Kamala Word Salad uh, yeah. Harris? She's she won't. Going. She would never become president. She wouldn't even popular she enough could, to get through the primary. She couldn't. Sur- she couldn't survive the, the campaign. Hmm. Yeah, um, no, it won't happen. Hmm. They'll come out. They'll come. Everything will come out of the closet for Kamala. Everything. Oh yeah. How many? Yeah. Her knee. Her knee pads will be out, and they'll have somebody <laughs> to bring out her knee pads, and you know, yeah. uh, it's like. You, you, it's yeah. a vicious, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just wondering who, who, who how. What about I don't, I don't um, Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders. They want the, oh, the, so the commies. The commies want him, but the centers, the center left won't vote for him. I, I think don't. yeah. I think I, I think a lot of these crazy ass uh, super liberal people, people are tired of that shit. I think people are over um, that. All, all you got to do to remind these super ass liberals to just say six dollars a gallon. How are you going out to? How do you yeah. go to your, your hippie concert, man? You can't afford to drive to your hippie yeah. concert. You okay, to I'm going to make you guys a yeah. bet. How much you guys want to bet Mitt Romney runs on the Republican side? How much yeah. you guys want to bet? He is desperate to win, and he will never get elected. No. Yeah, but I think he will run, man. I can't stand he Mitt is, Romney. Why, I, he'd be better off running as a, as a Democrat. Nobody likes him. He, no, he, he's dug himself. Like him. How, but how is Utah? How is Utah still? Why is Utah even elected him? More men. More Do I need men, to tell you, more Hank? Men. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I, on. I will more go. More okay, true. I'll but go there has in, to be some I'll other Mormon politicians. I'll pull up the, the gold plates and I'll read it to you. How about that? <laughs> you transcribe okay. it. More okay. Men, okay. Well, listen. <laughs> I get it. I get Utah. I understand. I, there's. Uh, I have a lot of folks out there in Utah. The thing is, though, and nothing, well, and this, nothing against the Mormon people that I know either. But I'm just saying, people don't, you know, like people vote for a black man because he is. Yeah, but what? But so even Mormons are still agreeing with the bullshit that Mitt Romney's saying. That's what you're he's saying. Mormon. Well, they want a Mormon in office. Wow. Well, well, because they yeah. think they get think get rid of Hill, Mitt Romney if you want to. If you want no, a Mormon, a, don't go for Mitt no, Romney. He's no, 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 don't do it. No. Don't do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not. That's not good. <laughs> Maybe uh, Stephen Colbert. Did you guys read the article that I sent you about Stephen Colbert? I saw when it came out on that was like Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for anybody that's not aware, Stephen Colbert's film crew, uh, CBS, had a film crew go to uh, uh, the production team was arrested at the Capitol, charged with unlawful the, entry because they had a, they had been told to leave a couple of times and kept coming oh, back. They did. Uh, senators' assistants kept letting them back in where they were not allowed to be, yeah. so they could film right, anti-Republican oh, propaganda, and yeah. they got caught by Secret Service and arrested on the spot and Two. charged. Mm-hmm. Three. So, so <laughs> first people should be first, yeah. people, first people should be arrested are the assistants. Mm-hmm. Whoever's letting them in. Well, well so they they so came that- to the Capitol to do skits. And they were, and they yes. literally. Do you guys know Triumph, the info, insult dog? Do you know who that is? Yes, I do. I don't know if Walter ever saw him. He used to be like on one of those talk shows. He was funny. The guy was yeah. funny when he was like when he did Man Show and stuff. Yeah, it's like, like a puppet dog, funny. Walter. It's like a puppet yeah. uh, Rottweiler or something. And okay. this guy goes and asks people, but they were running around the Capitol, banging on doors and trying to get into offices and harassing people and all that. And yeah, these do these people kept letting them in. But what what about security? Like security over there should say no. Where where are you guys going? If you're going in with a bunch of cameras, where, where's the press? Where's the press pass? Like who? What they had to do finally. Yeah. So they locked them up. Did they let them go? Probably they let them go by now. Um, I'm sure. I'm but, sure they. I'm right. sure that the, they, they got. The yeah. Ask Ask Warrior yeah, says Conan thing. had triumph. Con- yeah, that's right. It started with Conan. Conan yeah, Conan was it okay. But, it, yeah. but it, it's just it's this whole it's it's all funny in a big game for them. But if you do something like that, oh fucking god. You're a terrorist, you're a right wing conspirator, you're this, you're that. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. Yeah, <sighs> yeah you know what? <laughs> if this if this would have been if this would have been some people from uh what's what's his name over at Fox that I like? Um Oh, oh come on, Patrick! What's the name of that dude? Uh, that libertarian, oh. Tucker. Oh. If Tucker Carson oh. <laughs> has some people up in there, they would have already put them on the firing squad. There would have been yeah. insurrection. <laughs> You're, that's it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. January sixth, all over again. Yeah, January zero tolerance. <laughs> yeah, firing squad. Um, 
So Aspen yeah. Warrior, see, I said it right this time. There you go. Um, Aspen Warrior says he spoke to Legally Armed America. That's Paul, who's been, who was on the show, Paul Glasgow. And Paul got official response. There has been no change to the ammo policy at this moment, but he seemed to imply the changes are likely coming. Yeah, I think this, yeah, that, that makes sense. It, maybe it's not an official policy right now, but they're, they're going to throw everything. They're coming for everything. And I'm not trying to say that. Like, I don't want... I don't want ammo prices to keep going up. That like, that that's not good. That's not good for me. But what do you? There, what do you? I mean, that's a profit center for. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know how that works with the with the federal. Federal runs the ammo plant. Mm -hmm. They're a contractor, whoever or Winchester, whoever it is, and. Once again, that's that's taken away from somebody's bottom line, somewhere. Yeah. Don't you know, does it, don't you have don't you know someone over there, Walt? Wasn't that you? I have don't, someone. Don't say who's, exactly who so, right now. But, yeah. No, no, no. Soon, soon, soon to be. Uh, he's in the army. He's going to be the rep at, at the plant for the army. Oh. So, um, yeah. But um, yeah. that's for the six. You know, when they start the six eight program and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Let's realize that in America. So, for example, my brother in New York City. Every gun that he buys, he has to get a permit for it. Every gun, individually. How Every time he buys it, ammo, he has to show a permit to buy that ammo. Isn't it safe? Isn't it safer? Don't you feel safe? Yeah. So it's not like this doesn't exist. And then, oh man, fuck, I hate New York, man. So even, you remember we were talking the other day about the bullshit that New York signed into effect with this, uh, the, the governor over in New York, the, some chick over there. So... Part of that was a bulletproof vest ban. So explain yeah. to me why the fuck you cannot own a bulletproof vest in America. Like, you can't defend yourself, you can't own a bulletproof vest. Why? Because a bad guy used a bulletproof vest. What, what is that about? Yeah, it makes what, sense. And how, and how is that so... How, how, how is... I, I, I mean, I... I it doesn't make any. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. You I, can't, I was, you can't, I was, I was looking. I was looking at uh, Jared Guns and Gadget talking about this. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? They rushed to sought to put that bill together, and they left out the kind of bulletproof vest that the guy would used in oh. uh, <laughs> that the, 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 this latest <laughs> asshole dude used. So now they want to go back and fit. Why can people? So you live in a place that will literally not let you have a gun to defend yourself but you cannot put on if you put on a vest you're a criminal yeah you can't defend yourself without a gun but it is legal for the cops and uh politicians probably, and any probably the special governor's people security forces and all that stuff to have bulletproof yeah, yeah, vests yeah, yeah. Like, why yeah. why are these two things related like i get it bad guys you but you know seriously this is how it, many how wait 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 back up how many bad guys how many bad guys use a bulletproof vest? Documented. Proof. How many? Uh, I know 50 Cent had... I saw many videos with 50 Cent maybe, doing pull-ups with a bulletproof vest. He, he, when did he do a mass shooting? <laughs> never. Never. Okay. So unless maybe you, one unless it's lyrical, son. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, That's what I'm a getting mass at suicide is... With his 50 cent. <laughs> what, how does... Yeah. Well, you know, mm. uh, what are you gonna do? It doesn't make any sense, and you can't yeah. you can't argue with the people making these rules and laws. It's all it's, it's all feel what are you good gonna stuff. do? It's all yeah. Yeah. it's all feel good stuff. You, they say <sighs> that, that that's like that's like what I said before. That white politician signing it and the and all the black people behind him, they're gonna make the black people safe now. We're taking away their rights. Yeah. But it, it, like this is it doesn't make yeah. it's the most craziest thing I ever heard, you know. Wouldn't it's you be, basically wouldn't you be a prophylactic for your chest. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> wouldn't it be safer if you're sitting in your crib with your bulletproof vest on when the bulls start to fly outside? Yeah, if you if no, you you're do, dangerous. If you're, that makes you dangerous. Oh my gosh! It's it, to <laughs> people who live in these places and these people are literally making you a criminal if you're scared shitless. Because they're not doing anything for you, they won't let you defend yourself. They won't stop the and bad guys. Yeah, they won't stop the bad guys. 
And if you buy a vest because you're like, shit, I, I might get, I you're might get shot. You're a bad guy then. You're a bad guy. Yeah. Oh, you a criminal. Jail. We're going to prosecute you, your ass. It doesn't you, you make had, any you sense. Must, you must have had bad thoughts. See, you had yeah. bad thoughts. Yeah. So. Oh, man. The, if, you're, if you're in New York State, it's not New York City. You know that, right? It's New it's York state. state. New York State. New oh. York State. <laughs> Here's your armor right there. <laughs> Showing his goodies. <laughs> There's your body <laughs> armor. Patrick showing up. You criminal. <laughs> I know. I have you criminal. I have criminal mm -hmm. stuff on my wall back here. There, there. Yeah. I, I go to bed every night fearing that gun violence will happen in this house. <laughs> Just yeah. Overnight, the Skippy guns are gonna get up and take me out. Yeah. Skippy Waver says, Hank, you say you won't vote for Trump. Well, he's going to run and will win. But to say he had, uh, he had his chance is short sighted. Since he had to fight uh, the Dems the entire term, hey, everyone has their vote, but don't waste your vote on uh, contempt for him. Um, okay, I understand like what Skippy Wave was saying, but I agree with that. He didn't. He was never given a chance to flourish. I agree with that. Uh, but who do you blame for that? I mean, Trump is not a. He wasn't a little kid. I he I wasn't... personally blame Trump for surrounding himself with swamp. No, for the bunch of fuckheads. Yeah, come on now. Constant. He should have should have not listened to his daughter, man. That's just never. You know, forget never, about, forget about her. You know. I mean, he he, he is known for this. Well, you're he, fired. He, he, right? he you're made fired, his son-in-law right? an advisor, man. He made his son-in-law an no. advisor, and his daughter and his son-in-law are screaming, raging freaking liberals so if you got if anyone look look here's what i think about voting everyone gets to go have their vote some people have several yeah <laughs> go to you, you. I'm, not mad at you. I'm not mad at you yeah i'm not mad at you in the time that we had i was all behind trump i'm i'm like i you know i'm a i'm a raised new yorker up in here <laughs> so you know I, I was all in i'm i'm not gonna waste my time anymore that's it that's just me that's my opinion. We, we've been there. We did that. And I blame what happened in there mostly on him. I'm not saying other people didn't do things. But what do you think? Everyone becomes president and no one's working against them? Come on. Oh, always, <laughs> always is, are. But, yeah, it's the Game of Thrones, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to run the... you got to run the kingdom. Yeah, Biden, the king, I will... Gotta, you got to run the kingdom. I will say Biden has, Biden has not gotten anywhere close to the type of pushback that... Uh, that Trump always had constant. No, no, they're not. They're not. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't pee in the bed with a. He didn't pee in the bed with Russian prostitutes or anything. Come on, me. Can you or, believe all that nonsense? Without a doubt, Trump the, didn't have anyone on his side. But I mean, he, come on. But that's his own fault. I yeah, think. I'm not he gonna feel. Small. I'm not gonna feel like. Did Trump feel sorry for us as gun guys at all? Why am I gonna feel sorry when for took, him? When he, when he made a piece of plastic <laughs> a machine gun. There's nothing for me. I'm. Not, I don't hate him. I already told you guys that, right? I don't hate him or even dislike him. But there's. What, what, what am I doing? I'm gonna feel sorry for a billionaire dude. You know who was president? Uh, his <laughs> he's still peeing. He's still peeing and, and brushing his teeth and gold plated. Uh, yeah, things. yeah. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of a DAO or decentralized autonomous organization like Tusk Crypto. Tusk Cryptocurrency is a firearm-friendly e-commerce option for online payment transactions secured on the blockchain. So when you're in the crypto market, please consider Tusk. T U S C. Listen, Melania, is it Melania? I don't know, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's his yeah wife. Trump is still grabbing, you know, getting his handful of Melania or whatever. Like, I, there's nothing to feel sorry about. The dude was president, he's going to be called Mr. President yeah. for the rest of his life, have a secret service, money, he's over here that in Mar-a-Lago. What's that up? That woman with the best looking first lady ever. <laughs> ever. To date, ever. to date, to date, to date, to date. Yeah, we can't well, I mean, see the future. Can... We can't see the future. No, I can't, uh... but I... that woman <laughs> okay. can wear a set of pumps now. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the, there's no arguing. Let's see what Ron DeSantis' wife looks like. Um, well, she's a pretty looking woman. So... No, there's wrong. Yeah, she's a good looking lady. We could, ha right we could have another one. Yeah. Um, so so the thing is, it's like nothing, nothing to feel sorry for Trump over. Yes, no, I although I, I would agree that yes, for sure... He had all media against him except Fox News. And then I guess even at the end, he had Fox News against they him. They flipped on him, too. They flipped on him, too. Come on. You're oh, playing fast. the Game That's of Thrones, son. 
It's the Game of Thrones. That's why I won't listen to. Uh, that's why I won't tune into Fox News any longer. I won't pay that's attention to Brett Baird. Yeah, I won't pay attention. Tech, to yeah, the main, the main, the main reason I, I stopped watching the news because I just went after that bullshit. I'm just like, you know what? It's over. Okay. Of what? Wait, so I'm sorry. What was that? I was reading something. What was this? The, the news. That's why I stopped oh, watching. Yeah, the yeah, news. yeah, yeah. I haven't watched aside from when I was sitting in a in a in a condo at the SEMA show with Hank, and the news was on. That's one of the last times I've seen the news. So. Good yeah, for you. I haven't missed. I haven't missed a thing either. Yeah, were you watching thing. the news, or was Jonathan giving you his conspiracy <laughs> theory? <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you you could have been watching the news. Well, that wasn't that wasn't the last time here. That was. Oh no, the last yeah, the last time Jonathan wasn't there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he Damn. couldn't make it. Yeah. That was the time before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, that was uh, interesting to hear Jonathan's theory. Yeah, I'm it. trying to get I'm trying to get Tactical Toolbox up on the show. He uh, he told Has me. Has he ever been he, on the show? He has in the past. He told me he's buying a USB microphone, so he's gonna, he's getting ready. He's getting it so he could come on the show. So we're working on it. And um, shout out to Flying Rich, by the way. Go ahead. Oh, Flying Rich, yeah. Can we talk about cryptocurrency? Crypto. Yes. What it's, do you guys want to talk what's about? What's it crypto? at right now? Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, I don't do know. We want to see. Is at twenty point four. It was at eighteen at one point. Yeah, it, Bitcoin it is down, Bitcoin's down to eighteen be, nine. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Bitcoin's it's gonna be very um, volatile, volatile, but it's still For a while. Yeah, um, but crypto still has a big. I mean, so here's what I'm looking at. Uh, still has a big market cap. You know, um, Bitcoin. Yeah, it's at twenty. Ethereum's at like a uh, thousand Eleven. something. Yeah. Um, and that has nothing to, that's not to say, I haven't really been looking at Tusk. I don't know if it's the kind of thing you, you, you spend a bunch of time, oh yeah, it's always down. <laughs> it's down big, it's, well, I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's, yeah. it's all proportional. Every, if one big one goes yeah. down, all the little ones are Yeah, good. they're all, mm -hmm. um, I, listen, here's what I think about crypto, okay? Here's what I think, I think it's I was, like the stock market. I was, yeah, but I was telling Patrick this, you know, um, all of this stuff, everything is a Ponzi scheme. Everything is a game. The dollar is, is... Do you guys out there trust the dollar? Do you trust the dollar? Fiat currencies are bullshit. We all know yeah. that. They're based you, on nothing. Yeah. Do you trust the dollar that the government is printing? No. It's based on... It's no. based on the U.S. government saying it's worth this. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, so I... At yeah. one... Mm-hmm. When you could, at some point, back in the old days, when you could walk in the bank and say, "I want silver for my dollar," that was mm -hmm. different. But now you can't. There's no. There's no nothing yeah. behind it. There's no standard. There's no gold standard. It's right. not like a Goldfinger, the James Bond movie Goldfinger, with <laughs> all this gold bars up in Fort Knox and Pussy Galore. And 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 the, and, the, and the Bond movies aren't like that anymore either. So that tells you something. No, they're not. They're not uh, bad. The Daniel Craig stuff is not bad. <laughs> There's nothing behind the Bond movie like there was with, you know, with Goldfinger with, like, and uh, uh, Pussy Galore and all that stuff. You know, it's just yeah. it's, it's they're all woke. There's no more of that stuff. They can't say that stuff anymore. <laughs> um, how I dare mean, you? How dare you assume, assume that someone has a, a, a that p word? You know, I, you I know that uh, you know that all. Here's the thing I tell people about Hollywood, and and obviously Bond movies are not Hollywood uh, because they're made by the well they kind of made by Hollywood, but it's mostly a British production. These are all liberal people. They always have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hollywood, if you go all the way back to the beginning of Hollywood, it's all super liberal people. So when people, like, when Hollywood is like, damn, you know, these people are racist. They don't put enough black people in movies. You know who's in charge of not putting the black people in movies? <laughs> who, who was that? Who was in charge of that? I think it's Hollywood. <laughs> Um, right? Go back. I was going to go a little bit further, but <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. let's I know. just say let's just uh, say could, Hollywood. I could say I could say a couple things too, but right. um, go back go back in time and look at the old uh, movies where there were kids in. There's nothing but pedophiles in those movies where there uh, it's, it's it's just like all this innuendo about their parts and their pieces and If you ever found um, out what they did to James Dean, man, if you found out what producers did to James Dean, you know James Dean? Rebel without James a thing. Rebel without James Dean. Yeah, those dudes were they were mm -hmm. getting all up in that mm -hmm. booty. 
in yeah. Hollywood. Well, Seriously. it comes it, it comes at a cost. It comes at a cost, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Everything, so. every yeah, everything is not worth paying for. So that well, I mean, okay. So there's a, there's a choice you make, right? Yeah, but yes, yes, a person makes that choice and it goes that route. But here's what I'm like. I yeah, I wouldn't do it. Someone I, I, out out there would do. It, but not not just not just the gay guy, but the the females. You know, there was a casting couch. Sure. Get on the couch. Just get yeah. her done. And then we'll see about putting you. Yeah. Someplace. How many movies do you see that literally the chick who's starring in that movie is also banging the director? That's still happening. Uh, oh, sure <laughs> it is. Yeah. I'm sure it is. That's yeah. still yeah. Uh, remember Kate Beckinsale? Remember what's those movies yeah. she did with the vampires and the werewolves? Uh, not oh, Twilight. Yeah. It was kind of like Twilight, but but with uh, but kind of like Twilight and Matrix. What were those movies that Kate Beckinsale was in? Oh, uh, uh, with zombies, or with yeah. vampires, right? Yeah, something, yeah. If you think about it, you know that, you, if you look it up, you'll see that she was married to the director of those movies. Underworld. Underworld, yeah. So that's, you know, yes, that stuff's been going on for a long time. And my point is, who was doing it? Who was doing it? The yeah. And the G- it's oh, Wait, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and the G- <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, know, we know, yeah, we know, yeah, we understand. Yeah. You could go back and you can look at history and see who. So this is the funny thing. It gets put on some mythical, like, uh, angry white dude out there who was running Hollywood <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, Hollywood's always been run by these people, by the people who make the movies. That's, that's, who, that's who did that. Oh, yeah. You know, which is funny to me when I see it. It's like now there's a thing about how there's a lot of movies where a character is Asian, you know, but it's a it might be a white chick playing that part, but it's an Asian character, and then making the well. I'm sorry, but who who did that? Who made who made those? Someone made those choices to do this thing, but they blame it on someone else externally and not necessarily themselves. So. Well, there is that word. You know, when you when you're when you're an actor, what do you do? You act, right? Yeah. So if you act like an Asian, you act like an Indian, you act like a yeah whatever. I mean, yeah. It's acting. That's part of the. Well, and if you go back, you know what's funny? If you go back in history, you know that only dudes could be on the stage, right? So if you go back to um, what was the I forgot what the stage women, was called. Women in, were um, the children were played eight by men. Yes, in most cultures, in, uh, most cultures, yeah. Shakespeare yeah. times and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, way back before Shakespeare. Yeah, you had to be a you had to be a young. Uh, now you'd be called a twink, I guess, a young effeminate man to play a woman back in Shakespeare's day. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is this is the world we come from. This is the world we live in. I'm not well. I I don't come from that world, right? I don't but, come from Hollywood world. Yeah, but this is how <laughs> this is how it's always been. So like you'll see. Um, you'll see some actor, and he might have a lot of muscles, and you think, oh, it's a very macho badass dude. No, he's an actor. <laughs> he's an actor. <laughs> you know, he was a dancer. What's the name? There's, a, there's that guy right now that's uh, Shannon Tatum? Tatum? Or whatever. I can't remember his name. But he was literally a stripper. Channing Tatum? Channing. Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Tatum? <laughs> Yeah, uh, what yeah, about him? Sure yeah, that, that was a stripper. He was a male stripper. Back before he went to Hollywood, you're saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh, okay. Yeah. Good for him. You know, which is all, hey, it's all good. I'm just saying to you that, you know, we're not talking Hollywood about, like, super macho. Hollywood is a dirty, macho. dirty place. I would, yeah. never, I would never want my kids to go become actors. It's a nasty place. Well, mm-hmm. not without... Yeah, and it's, and it's no better. You can make all the laws you want. All this stuff about pedophiles and all this stuff and and all that junk and it's right there. It's right up. You got enough money. You got enough money. Nobody cares what the law says. And and when I hear about these actresses that have had to do things and they're making twenty, thirty million dollars a movie, guess what? Oh, Ooh. I don't feel sorry for you. You poor oh, baby. Not one. Because <laughs> you know how many wives out there are not getting paid. <laughs> like You're that. a high paid. And they're doing worse you things. <laughs> and it, you, you know how many have, husbands. You, yes. you know how many you know, husbands are rubbing feet, doing whatever yes. else. You know, with a, yeah, a husband. Uh, just, a husband I, has to do some nasty things too. We're supposed do, to feel sorry for you because you. No. Uh, you did that. I, I just don't. You're not going to get it from me. I don't care. Well, it's also like, have you noticed that 
where are where are Hollywood movies made now? A lot of them made in England and British Columbia and Canada and and, uh, and all these different Eastern uh, Europe. East, Eastern Europe. A- yeah. A- Atlanta's getting some action. Atlanta's getting some action. Well, well, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you a crazy crazy question here. <laughs> why why it's not made in Hollywood? <laughs> why well, why is first it California's California's tax fuck out there? Taxes well, who, who did unions. that? Who did that though? Well, the, who, who the immigrant the Im- the immigrant loving liberals did that. They did it. The people who live in Hollywood don't make movies uh, in Hollywood because it's too expensive. Taxes and unions. <laughs> yeah. So they go to or or let's go to England. Like all our all our um, American superhero. Every single fucking American superhero. Spider Man is British. Uh, Thor British. Doctor Strange British. Right. All these American superheroes are Brits. Um, why do those dudes leave England if England is so awesome? Taxes, taxes. Yeah. Taxes. Freedom, liberty, yeah. mostly, I would imagine. Yeah. They, can, yeah. they can own a gun here. They don't live in California. Yeah, you don't um, have to pay 75 or 80% income tax in America. But you do in places like England. It's incredibly hot. I don't know. It's probably, it's, I think it's over, it's like 50 or 60. I'm, I'm yeah, you know, yeah, it's but it's really but holy high. Shit. What is over one hundred and fifty thousand pounds is forty five percent tax rate. Mm-hmm. Your <laughs> average citizen between mm-hmm. fifty thousand and one hundred and fifty thousand pounds is forty percent tax rate. So, what do you think an, an actor making holy a million? Shit. What's a million? What's a million dollars? What's the million tax rate? Million dollars, you're getting, you're losing four hundred fifty thousand dollars of your million. <laughs> holy that's shit! That's what. That's what. That's why all the superheroes in America, are and they don't British even have. And you know, the people love to say, "Well, they have universal uh, health care." Well, their their health care sucks. Their health care is not that good. If you're on the Same front of the line, it's probably God fine. damn, forty five percent. They'll be in the back of that line. So yeah, here's a Hollywood thing. I'll throw this up here real quick. Breaking Bad actor says Americans should shut the fuck up about gas prices if they love capitalism so much. No, that's not how it works, dumbass. <laughs> so, <laughs> actor Dean Nor this dude, it's not it's probably not who you think from Breaking oh, Bad. This. Yeah, so this guy Dean Norris criticized people who were complaining about soaring gas prices across the United States. The Breaking Bad star said current gas prices are fair market and urge anyone who loves capitalism to shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're not getting how, off at the prop. Yeah, go ahead. How how is this how is this when 2 years ago is a what? That to well, first of all, let me say this. This guy's. I looked Dane. it up to see what he's worth. He's worth about five million. He went to Harvard. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, it's we're. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that what he's saying is if you when he says if you love capitalism, what do you think that means? It's not. He's he's saying that oh you love capitalism. You don't want socialism and communism like I want. So you need to shut the fuck up about the gas prices, because this is the ca- this is the capitalism that you want. He wants he it, loves capitalism. He's not saying, so, oh no, listen, I don't need to get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this role. Thank you. Okay, he's not saying so that. if I if it's capitalism, then why aren't the oil companies allowed to do everything they want to do? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uh, explain that, that to me. Then. If it's capitalism, well, they, if it's capitalism, they would just sell us all the oil we want. They would make well, more money if the oil, if, if the gas was cheaper, right? His 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 hot take was not agreed with. Right? Yeah. Nobody likes it. So. Yeah, he likes his money. Uh, Forty two chill says. So there you go. You know what? If, if, if the more you spend on gas, the less money you have to go to the movies. The less money you have to do stuff, fun stuff, right? Fun mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, maybe you'll have to drop that nasty, terrible cable network that you have because you can't afford it no more. I mean, I get along fine without no damn cable network. That's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. You got rid of that. Oh yeah, I don't think I've had that for years, more than ten years. But you know, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The reason things are the way they are with gas and food and everything else is because of policy that Biden initiated as soon as he became president. Period. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. I would say for sure. I think you know. I, I would agree with that. 
And I think that I think Biden's trying to force the gas companies to not make a profit or well, some kind of stupidness. Well, he was like, "Yeah, you guys, they're making plenty. They're, they're making plenty of money. They're not going to yeah. stop making money. They're always going to sell yeah. gasoline." Now, that whole electric car thing, we won't go into that. But that whole forcing people electric is mm -hmm. is that route too. But the gas companies are into electric cars anyway. So, what are you trying everything, to do there? Yeah, everything. So what is that? There's a rule in uh, physics in the universe, right? Nothing comes magically from somewhere and goes magically to nowhere, right? Things just change form, right? Every <laughs> I mean, this is science. Is equal, equal and opposite reaction. For every action, there's equal opposite yeah, reaction. Yeah, but also, in, in order to, cre like, when you create, and you have to create energy. Like, energy just, like, because you make something electric doesn't mean that the electricity magically comes, like, you know, from, like, fairy dust from Greta Thornburg's well, no, no, butt poops no, or whatever. The, the, wind, the, the windmills magically appear. Yeah. About? Energy comes you know, from somewhere. You have to generate this energy, right? You've got you've to do you something have, to make energy. And it doesn't just energy. magically go anywhere, too. you got to change, you know. Go ahead, Walt. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta. How do you magically create all these magical solutions without some type of machinery that runs off of some kind of power? Yeah, and and, deli and delivered the raw materials delivered by some magical power too, and you know the machines run on some magical power also. And, you know. Or the cars are made from uh, batteries. Like, where does that come from? I think that comes from the planet. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the meat comes from the grocery store, damn it. Stop it. Stop I think the special I think the rare earth metals come out of the planet through mining. Yeah. <laughs> I and think they mine that's that with that's windmill powered uh, cranes and stuff, yeah. right? We're not growing batteries. Even if we grew batteries even if we grew batteries we would starve to death. <laughs> right? Because no. it, it takes resources in order to grow stuff. You grow, you grow food to eat, and you, you get your, you don't grow food to make oil or, or alcohol to make, you know. <laughs> anyway, exactly. that's a movie. Yeah. Movie. Appalachian Gunrunner yeah. says, he puts it, look, he's being succinct. He says you can't create or destroy matter, just change its form. That's well, yeah. the thing, that these people who say that, like, people like us ignore science, but they forget so about the science-y things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, you know. It's just like I—I I know I was telling you guys, that, and you may not want to talk about this, but the, in 2020, 960,000 abortions. That was the number. Now Lola says she th feels like that's a little inflated, and I might agree yeah, with I think her. It's a little because because they include the they include the morning after pill, which she was like, well, you know, what what's really going on with that? Every time someone takes a pill, doesn't mean you know that they're necessarily destroying life but still i think even if we cut that number in half we could say some something a wild thing is happening and for less for fractions of that we've got to change all the laws and get rid of everyone's constitutional rights but that stuff's fine but that's not science well <laughs> that's you know. that's not paying all, any kind of I attention to science all, all i say about that is just get the government out of it the government doesn't pay for it and yeah. And we could, you know, and listen, there's been alternatives, which I've talked about before. Like, we have alternatives right now to stuff. If we don't have enough, which I know we got enough gasoline, we got plenty of natural gas and all kinds of stuff that, you know, we can use. We'll be right back. The Who Moved My Freedom podcast is made possible by our partners at 2A Commerce. Veteran owned and with over 20 years experience, 2A Commerce is the leader in custom e-commerce and web application development in the shooting sports industry. Clients include major brands such as Guard Dog Body Armor, Sylvan Arms, AccuFire Technologies, The Tactical Games, Warrior Knife Company, and yours truly, Hank Strange. Visit 2A Commerce and support this show by supporting them. Once again, visit the number 2acommerce.com. Yeah, I always wish that uh, like someone would make a law in Hollywood that uh, you know you can go to anyone in Hollywood's house and just move in, just take whatever you, you need. should. You should be able to. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're a refugee from a third world country. Yeah, I mean, I think that is the opposite of capitalism, right? Like, if capitalism mm -hmm. is bad, 
then the good thing would be if you just go take other on, people's shit. 80% tax rate on Hollywood movie stars and producers. Yeah, this is why they don't make movies in L.A. In just life. California, though. 80% <laughs> tax rate for Californians. <laughs> this is why they don't make movies in Hollywood anymore. <laughs> the moment you do decide it. to set up a movie in Hollywood, the every single union jumps in, wants their cut to do fuck all, and then tells you how you can run it. It's insane. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to do it. This is the thing I'm saying to you. They don't want to do it. They go make the movies in Canada, or like you're saying, in, in, in Atlanta, and then, then therefore Georgia has to get fucked up. They want their cake and eat it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah. 42 Chill says, let's move into the White House and kick Joe out to a bike tent. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. You will definitely get some weapons used yeah. against you on that approach. Don't. Don't get me going again about cre- creepy Joe and his bicycle. Um, <laughs> and that you know you've seen you've seen the video of him falling down, going up, the, climbing up Air Force One and falling down three times. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember a man named Gerald Ford? Yeah. Did he Who not leave that down up? forever? He he tripped going up the thing too, and then they're doing Weak. skits on Saturday night. They're doing yeah. skits on Saturday night live about him tripping. Have they mm-hmm. done that on yeah. Saturday night live? Oh no, it won't happen. It won't happen. Have they crashed a bicycle on Saturday Night Live? Did you see he was on, uh, what is it, like, I don't watch those things, but I saw some some uh, footage from it. He was on that guy's show, uh, man, it's like a really nasty comedian dude that has one of these, uh, n- uh, ten- these night show type of things. And he was on there, and he was, he was forgetting what he was saying, losing track, and the guy was just like, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. You know, trying to... Oh, you know you're what talking about it? Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, he yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. If, if and, Trump and was Jimmy on Kimmel, there, he would have blasted him. Before the thing started, Jimmy Kimmel made a joke that um, uh, Fox News is saying is, is saying that I'm not going to hold, I'm not going to ask you tough questions. He then proceeds to not ask any tough questions. It's like, yeah. yes, of course, we this we knew you were going to be a, a pussy. We knew you were going to be a useless person. Yeah. But he got That's lost why they in his train. Jimmy he, Kimmel. Yes, but That's he got lost in his Kimmel. train of thought, and Jimmy Kimmel was just acting like it didn't happen. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just like this. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? None of the, one of, nothing you're saying makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to, Ridiculous. I'd like, I'd like it was so pathetic. Mm-hmm. I'd be willing to bet you that Joe Biden's had a stroke or two. Oh, yeah. I would say so. It doesn't. Trust me, from my own experience. You can have a little one, and it fucks you up. Well, I think, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you get, you wind up getting, like, a few little ones. You don't even know. That, 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 that response, or, or you'll say, hey, hey, this is so-and-so, and and, and you looked at this person, but you say somebody else's name, because, um, and I can't, for example, my dad was looking at me, and we're talking about something. He'll say my name sometimes when he's talking about somebody else. I said, don't you mean Mm so-and-so? Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like. Um, yeah, you yeah. know, but you get you get you, you you know all you libs that got those bumper stickers on the back of your car where you put them on your paint. Those people, you know, those people mm-hmm. stick their bumper stickers on their paint of their car. You gotta love mm-hmm. those folks. They're not too intelligent. Yeah. That's who votes for. Uh, yeah. Democrat. Well, I love the one that said like during Trump, they had one that says you vote for a clown, you get a circus. I think that still applies. Yep, yep. We still in the circus. Hey, you know what? <laughs> At least the clown before didn't ride a bike and make an ass of himself um <laughs> yeah he was a this is a scary creepy cow this is a killer clown from space <laughs> who who gave this you know let's think about this now somebody gave him that bicycle that wasn't his bicycle and they gave him that bike with could, those stirrups it on it, it could have been he could have bought that with his own maybe, ukrainian money didn't you didn't you think that maybe his feet would get caught in those stirrups I no, think no they're hoping about. for it. I think someone in, in Kamala Harris's uh, staff is trying to make her president. <laughs> who do you think was in the bunny suit? I want to know who was in the bunny suit. I still want to know that. <laughs> do you know what we're talking about, Walt? The yeah. bunny suit? At Easter, right? You want to tell this thing, Patrick? At Easter, uh, Biden was at the White House for the Easter egg hunt. 
Easter egg hunt, right? Egg hunt, yeah. yeah. And some reporters started asking him questions, and he started over-answering the questions. And the Easter bunny was there. Someone in an Easter bunny suit literally came and grabbed him and moved him. Out it was of a there. Secret Service guy. A Secret Service guy was in the Easter bunny suit. Probably. That's who was in the Easter bunny. Probably with a couple of machine guns strapped to his side. <laughs> yeah. You remember the you remember the one you remember the one when they were walking down the thing, the Secret Service guy with the fake arms? Fake arms, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> one of my favorites. It's so Which ridiculous. Which is basically like like a bulletproof shield, so they can mm-hmm. wrap it around mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Or a bomb proof shield kind of thing that deferred the blast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know what's what do you guys think about them letting out isn't it is it uh John Hinckley? I might be getting the name wrong. The guy who tried to assassinate okay, Reagan. Reagan. Was that Hinckley? He's been on he's been yeah, it's Hinckley, yeah. Yeah, they let they let they that guy been, out. Yeah, it's been a while now. They've been working on that. Okay. Not not a good idea. Not yeah, not in my well, world it's not a good idea. Yeah. Well, he, he should have been he should he should have uh-huh. been strung up, but yeah. Yeah, what the hell is this guy doing walking on the streets? And he was trying to have a concert recently. He had like a sold out concert and then the people oh, where was it? Some college or something what? canceled it. Yes. He had a sold out He concert. plays guitar oh. now and is trying to tour the country as a singer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he get? How many uh what was his sentence? I don't know, but they should probably, have let him out. Technically. No, I think life. technically years ago he should have come out, but no, this guy should never be out. And yes, he should have gotten life, but because of DC and all these, the, all of the stuff that he did is why we have a whole bunch of gun laws. But he's out. He's out. No, he's he, he free. He free. The dude here in Florida uh, that did this school shooting, he he pled guilty. We still can't even sentence him. At his 82 trial in Washington D.C., having been charged with 13 offenses, Hinckley was found. Not guilty by reason of insanity. Well, he let the insane guy out then. Yeah, he's Hinkley out now. was transferred into psychiatric care uh, in 1981. Soon after his trial, Hinkley wrote that the shooting was, quote, the greatest love offering in the history of the world. To Jody and Foster. was disappointed that jo- Jody Foster did not reciprocate his love. Who is totally <laughs> lesbianic. She not even, she not even into the sausage. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foster's yeah, dead. Yeah, she not into the yeah, sausage. She, yeah. <laughs> she don't like that's enough sausage. She got two kids. So what? That's a shame. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. No, I think you're right. Yeah. No, Jody Foster's into somebody named Sidney Bernard. Oh, uh, okay. And that looks oh, like okay. an ugly man woman. Oh, it's, my. It's all good. God, Look, it's all good. It's all good, but he wasted his time. He wasted his time. We should waste him. They took, they spent money keeping an eye on this guy for years and now letting him go. And he literally tried to assassinate a president of the United States of the Americas. America. Um, and you know why he What is happening? Why? Mm-hmm. You, we, we were just talking about, we were just talking about Hollywood, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why do you have this fixation about Jody Fox? Because of... Hollywood. 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 Driver. <laughs> yeah, and um, and I'm pretty sure Jonathan has a theory on this, but I don't know if he's going to talk about. Oh, about it. Jodie Foster? Yeah. About Jodie Foster? Yeah, I don't know. Does if she he, meet the know. requirements? Does she have the square shoulders? <laughs> <in> the... <laughs> I don't, you know, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I don't want to speak for him. I don't want to speak for him. only people who no, know no. what we're talking about know what we're talking about. Yeah. So yeah, um, man. Oh, we are living in an upside down world. Yeah, well, yeah, we are. End times. I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying it kind of like half-heartedly joking, but truly, crazy stuff is happening. Yeah, they've been they've been they've been working on that, getting him out for years. Actually, he's that that that's kind of actually old news. Um, I don't know. This concert thing is not old news, but the, the 20, getting him yeah, out. Yeah, it the, looks. It yeah, looks like they started his release in 2016. So yeah, they've been working on yeah, this for a while. Halfway house. And all unfortunately, this kind of stuff. it ain't new news. Skippy Waver says, yeah. "What would have happened if the president was a Democrat? Uh, so like, if instead if it was Reagan, it was like Carter or something like that. Um, Carter. They would have. They uh, would have. They would have burned the Constitution in front of us 
and taken all the guns away for our own safety and then um, sent these dudes you over know, to well, pick us up to get on know, some trains he, to go out to some he ovens. Directly, he directly led to the 86 machine gun band, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, because of the no. other guy. Because no. because that other guy that got it wasn't it wasn't there another guy there that got injured and that's where in, no this in was Reagan that was a former that's what pushed Reagan into it I thought no the other um, band came the, out of it not not the eighty six the other one the um, um um the guy used to be one of his advisors who used to yeah, be it's the not anti star yeah it's not star the, the guy the, an, the anti the anti gunners poster boy um, yeah if you look so, up John wow. Hinckley you'll see the name of the guy who got there was another guy that got injured. When he started firing, because I think I think some secret a, a secret service guy got injured, and then some kind of yeah. other guy got injured who was a politician, and then eventually he got a gun bill named after him. Yes. Yeah, um, I forget now. I can see it. I can see the guy's face. Yeah. Um, they, they, and the anti-gunners touted him around like a little uh, Brady. Like Brady. Little Forty-two doll. chill says yeah. Brady. The Brady yeah. bill. Brady. Is, oh, is that where the yeah. Brady name comes from? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, and he died. I think he's 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 already died. He's passed. Yeah. Well, 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 tell, well, I, they, I hear it. Yeah. Okay. No, but that they dude tell, should never be let out. That guy should never be let out. Just quietly put him out of his misery. You know, this is what pork is good for. You take him to the back where you keep the the pork. You know, in Turn the uh, pork. yeah, where you keep the pork. Like you know, you know, you keep the pork. Uh, in well, the we've pork said shell. this before on the podcast. Okay. Supposedly, humans taste like pig. Uh, I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> and on that note, it's been a really great evening. <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. The things that are happening are just, like, so weird. I no, think it makes any sense. Yeah. Well, well I'm going to go back and I, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that thing I said a couple shows ago. It's that whole moral, uh, you know, uh, everything's Falling okay. Who, who, am, who am I to judge, right? Who am I? And, and when, I, when I hear people say that, then I'm going to say this one time. You judge every day. You judge what you have for lunch. You judge where you go to buy your gas. You judge, and, and, and you judge on different things. It's just how you act on those judgments, right? So yeah, that. that's true. I mean, that's true. Yeah, I judge people all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. I do too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, for sure. And and how how you act upon those judgments yeah. determines. Yeah. But, yeah, you know. It, it, but if you're, but yeah. these people are literally telling us that they want to do something about people like this guy, who they don't want to do anything about this guy. Try to assassinate a president, hurt other people, shorten their lives. But no, nah, we're gonna, we're just gonna let him out so they, he can now have his rock star career. So yeah, so he, so all these little liberal um, do-gooders can go. So oh, he's not a bad man. Hey, he's not a bad man. But see, when um, Paul when Paul Glasgow was on, this is what he was talking about, that this is why these kids are doing this now. Because if this guy gets fame and then gets to live on the government teat for all these years, like, why wouldn't, you know, if they get mad and they feel like they well, want some fame, why wouldn't they do stupid shit like this? And then we can't do it. You oh. can't even put on a bulletproof vest. Like when you're like, oh shit, I can't have guns, have so you, I'm going to put on a bulletproof vest. Uh, Criminal. I, I see these people on the internet doing stuff on mini bikes and motorcycles and crashing and flying through the air and all this stuff. And then people watch that and they go, wow, that's cool, man. I think I'll try that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's that monkey see, monkey do thing, you know. It's like right. they went their 15 seconds to fame. If they're going to, you know, these these fads that are around like dumping the ice water on people and, and squirting the cinnamon in your mouth and seeing how, how bad oh, they Oh, they're doing a lot of crazy her. stuff. Did you see the video of the kids in New York City? You know, the above ground, like the train that runs up on the tracks? Ele yeah, the, like they yeah. call it the L, the elevated trains? Yeah. Okay. So I remember when I was on the trains that I would go in between cars because there's basically doors that you can walk from like yeah. one train car to another. Okay. These kids went in between the cars and then climbed up on the roof of the train. And I, what gave him that idea? Uh, probably movies. <laughs> I, I watched. But you know, what happened? you know what happened? You know what happened, right? You know what happened? They, they fell off and died. Yeah. Oh there well. A, yeah. There was a I'm dude who fell field. off, but people have video of these kids surfing on top of the trains. Like out of the gene pool. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how do you? How do you? How do you? You know, you can't fix stupid. 
I'm sorry, yeah. you just can't fix it. They saw, they saw Mission Impossible 1. And unlike you, <laughs> you were not properly motivated to get your ass up on a train. My mama said, my mama would have said, what, you fucking dumbass? My mama wouldn't use that F word. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like. like my, my mama said, my mama said, <laughs> you ignorant. Uh, you know, I, I, I had one of my friend's grandmothers, was, this is your, this is back like, was wrong person. The woman, she said, that boy ain't got no home learning. That boy ain't got no home learning. <laughs> and, and whether they're rude you know, some people are rude the way they talk to people, and somebody talked rude to her, and she said, that boy ain't got no home learning. That was and your mom? What this is. I've never heard that, no, but I like a, that. I really like that. I've she, heard it before. This is a, friend's, a, friend, of, a friend of mine's grandmother, and mm. she was old at this time. And Granny said, Is this Granny a black said, woman or a white woman? No, white woman. White woman. White woman. From the okay. country, though. She lived up in, like, Oh, yeah, because it sounds like a country, country saying, yeah. You yeah, ain't got no got home, home learning. <laughs> right, right. Nobody yeah. taught you no manners. Nobody taught you no sense. Yeah, he mm-hmm. touched. He's special. Was, he wanted them special was, people. Well, see now, now, now we make now we make excuses for these folks because you uh, know they lived in a in a bad environment or they you know, didn't they didn't get any uh they had their their pants were too tight or something I don't know but mm-hmm. you know it's like <laughs> come on come on man <laughs> you get up on top of moving train things are gonna go bad. It's so insane. I saw the video. People have videos of these kids up on the top of these trains. So, because one of them and fell off, fell off the train, fell into the track, and got run over by a train. Yeah. Well. God, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That's the reality of, of, of I mean, train surfing. <laughs> if you think it's what Walter is saying, right? I hate to agree. I hate to agree with Walter. You've got no home learning. <laughs> but if you think in your brain, oh, you know what? I identify as Tom Cruise. <laughs> Or he wasn't I think, using you know wires. What? I could just hang up. On, I could just walk up on top of this train. No big deal. You know what? <laughs> we can do this, and we can get a hundred thousand views, and we're, and we're going to be rich. That's yeah, not me. Rich. <laughs> I'll be you broke. You to be. And <laughs> we're not talking like normal dead. We're talking about ground up, bloody dripping off the tracks and chunks. Yeah, but of yeah, I mean, there's you know, yeah. influencers are dying all the time. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a <laughs> funny Instagram. If you want to see a funny Instagram, it's one called Influencers in the Wild. You should watch oh that. God. It is okay, so nuts. <laughs> I can't show you guys right now, but it's called are, it's on so IG. It's like pic- videos and pictures of people doing dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, it's Instagrammers doing it. stuff, and other regular people see them doing their dumb shit and then post it. <laughs> Yeah. So, and they so, get a hundred thousand views, two hundred thousand, a million views. Yeah. It's crazy what the, what people are doing. Oh my god! It's, it's just pathetic, is what it is. Yeah, it's just craziness that people are doing out there for fame or whatever, and then we're buying into a lot of what mm-hmm. folks are. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's kids, there's fall. kids tattooing their face and doing all kinds of, yeah. you know, that's that's the mild I mean, stuff. That's the mild stuff. But that shows that, like, that influencers in the wild shows them doing a lot of crazy stuff. These or, people Or, like, booty are clapping so in public. Pathetic. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're, like, this. the ones that's crazy is, like, these chicks out there booty clapping. You know what that is, Walt? Booty clap? Yeah. Booty clapping? No, tell me. That's when you make your booty clap. <laughs> and they're doing, they're doing that. <laughs> Walter's like, why did you... Don't tell me this shit. And, 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 and you know what? Most of those most of those women should not be showing their butt to anybody. Walter's going to have a nightmare later and wake up like, oh my god, don't booty clap. I mean, that's like, like a bad night at Walmart with all the spandex and the, uh, and the yoga pants and all that stuff. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Depending on what Walmart you go to, like some of the ones in Gainesville and and like Chiefland, for example. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Chiefland is you know, great, great. When we went to, and this wasn't bad, but it's just something I noticed. We went to out to eat at the um, Cracker Barrel, and there was a family sitting over there, and, and, and there was you could tell it was a daughter, and there was a mother, and their husband, and two kids, and the one kid was screaming on top of his lung. Anyways, but the mother of this woman, who was probably my age or close, mm-hmm. is kind of wearing that coochie mama kind yeah. of outfit that no fits clothes real on. tight. <laughs> then, and yeah. V-neck, V down to here where you could, you know, it's like, and it's like... Boobies really? popping out. I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna take. That's we're what just, you're teaching your kid. Yeah, we're taking a quick break. Okay. We're take. We're take, We're gonna be right back. Hold on. I want right. your story right, to get right, cut I'll finish that thought. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of manufacturers like Safety Harbor Firearms. SHF is a quintessential family-owned small business totally representative of the American dream. Safety Harbor Firearms is a Florida-based manufacturer of the compact entry stock and the SHTF 50 upper for an AR-15 lower. Also, SHF happily delivers on your Sten Gun parts needs. So don't forget to check out StenParts.com and SafetyHarborFirearms.com. Yeah, go for it, Walt. Sorry. Okay, so all, all, all I'm trying to say is, and she wasn't, she wasn't like fat or, or anything like this. And she wasn't a bad-looking woman, really, but really? Do yeah. you have to come? Kind of dr- try to dress like the twenty-year-old or the twenty-two-year-old. I've seen this you're, before, you're, where the daughter looks. The daughter is way underdressed, and then you see the mom, and you're like, "Oh, okay." You're teaching your I mean, kid to dress like a hua. Yeah. And then, and then, and you, you know, know whose fault it is. You know whose fault it is. The white man. It's the white man. It's the white man's fault. That's right. It's always the white man's fault. Now that was just an observation, you know, and I'm yeah, like, I've seen it. Yes, I know. You're right. I've seen like, what you're talking about. You know, dress. I mean. I don't say dress your age or dress appropriately, but you don't have to dress like a coochie mama. To, you know, I mean, you know, like a hoochie mama, coochie oh, mama, whatever you want. A kula, a kula. No. No. Hua. A hua. What's that, Patrick? What's that? I've been watching Sopranos lately. It's a whore, but a hua. Oh. Okay. It sounds like he's saying hua. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's the Italian from oh, Sopranos. Dress like a hua. I don't know yeah, what's happening. I don't know what's happening with people. The yeah. fabric of society is falling apart at the seams. Yeah. And I've seen some people, I've seen some stories in the news of women trying to get on the plane like that. You know, like massive boobies, a little string in between each boobie. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, these bastards threw me off the plane. Don't, Discrimination. Don't, yeah, well, what do you expect? It's just like don't it's show your boobas to. off on the plane. Yeah. There's, there's got to be, you know, I'm not approved by any means. Trust me, I'm not. Right. But there's got to be some standards, you know. I mean, you know. You know, if you had a secretary in your office, the receptionist, and came looking like a prostitute to work, you're going to tell her, get the fuck out of here and get some clothes on. Yeah, no, unless, you're, unless you're in the pimping business. Yeah, unless you're, you know, you're selling, yeah. you know, hose. Um, yeah. I mean, well, work won't Patrick get done. Clinton. The same thing on a plane. Clinton, that, can you imagine a plane with that app, app in, the, yeah. in the air? Yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah, one, one year at the SHOT Show, Patrick, we're walking down Las Vegas Boulevard, and at night there, they got these, it used to be really bad, these guys flipping cards out for these, basically, call girls and stuff. Flipping all this stuff. You walk by, basically, Mexicans and immigrants or whatever. They, flipping cards, and they're all over the floor. And then walking along, and this guy gets the card, and he looks at it. Was it happened to be a black couple or a black group of people who walk in front of us? And he goes, "They're selling hoes." <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, out loud like that. They're they selling hoes. <laughs> yep. I never forget that. That's, that's oh, one of those moments God. you can't. You can't. You can't. That moment sticks in my head forever. I'll be. I'll be <laughs> yeah. Uh, 42 Chill says turbulence, bam, bam. Can you imagine if there was like extra pressure in the in the cockpit of the plane at that time? There was like extra pressure, and those things just and blew just up. Boom! Flopped out. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Dear. You know, and you've just got silicone all over you. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Listen. Oh. Uh, you know what? We, yeah, we, I guess we've been off. We've been off the rails. We've been off the rails. Yeah. So we probably need to wrap it up. I survived. I thought I was gonna pass out. You know, the ghetto way that we are cooling. It's actually too cool in here now. It's too cool uh, inside of the van. Cold. Yeah, now There's I'm cold. No such I'm, thing I'm, is too cool. I'm now cold. Mm-hmm. Look at look at this. Look. Oh, I like I, it. I, I like it. Seventy two in this house. Look at that. That I, thing's I think, still going. I, I think he went commando. That's what it is. No, I didn't go commando. I didn't go commando. I was tempted. I was tempted. You guys were trying to talk me into it. (laughs) Um, Yeah. But anyway, listen, that's a free-for-all Monday. I do want to say that I think tomorrow we have the the gentleman from, I think it's Chad, 
from JM4 Tactical. I don't know. I, I totally forgot to show you guys this. Look, check out these holsters. You see that magnet? Yeah. It's got a magnet on it, so that's so you don't have any clips here. That's how you uh, that's how you hold that up. So he's gonna be on um, tomorrow, I think that is, and then on Wednesday we we've got Cody. Should we tell people about that? Sure. Yeah, yeah it's your podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got Cody Wilson. Cody Wilson is gonna be on the the gentleman who makes the ghost the ghost gunner machine and, oh, okay. and all that all that kind of good stuff fighting for freedom every day yeah, in America. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be fun talking to him. Yeah and Patrick will be on as well on Wednesday. So I don't know if you want in on that Walt. It's up to you. Uh, uh, we'll probably be talking yeah. uh, we'll probably be talking three D printers yeah. and C- mini CNC machines. Yeah. So it should be it should be uh, um, you know be a good thing. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yes, Skinny yeah. Waver's telling us to check out the boys on Prime. Yes, I know. I've seen that crazy. <laughs> I've seen part of the first season, and it started getting a little weird and political for me. Don't look at I the third season. <laughs> really? Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, don't look at the third season. It's way too late in the show for me to start explaining to you. It's worse than uh, Obi-Wan. So. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's really crazy. It really? Oh, I can't. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Anyways. I'm, yeah, I'm going to let these guys tell you how you can all support them. We'll start with Patrick Babyface P over here and what he's got going. YouTube.com slash Babyface P. Um, I need to refilm the assembly of the 1911, which actually is sitting in front of me right now. Um, I went to go edit the video and I didn't like how it looks, so I'm going to tear it all back down and refilm the whole thing. Uh, I'm trying to, I want to get that out next week, and then I don't, god damn, I don't have anything in front of me. Um, I also picked up, uh, used, I had a, thought this was a great deal, I picked up a used P320 exchange kit, is what Sig calls it. Uh, it's a full-size P320 exchange kit, basically. Um, and I have one of the JSD supplies... Uh, 80% or I guess you're I don't know what percentage they are drop in frame drop in uh, trigger housings um, So I'm gonna build that up and do some testing with that. So I have some stuff in the works. I just I Need to get some new some more filming done and I gotta yeah, that's gotta gonna get be get cool though stuff. because you can you could print a bunch of cool stuff for that sig p320 um, Yes, yeah, yeah, so it'll be neat um, Hopefully that'll be here. I just got confirmation that it was shipped today Mm-hmm. Hopefully it'll be here. Oh, I, I paid 270 bucks. I thought it was a great deal because it was used. It was a stellar mm-hmm. deal. Yeah. I used so. to be into the 250s when they came out, and I think I still Basically have Basically the same thing, videos. isn't it? Or pretty similar? Yeah, this is way better. The 320s better trigger and all that kind of stuff. But you could still actually use the frame and all that from the from the three, from the the 250s. So, And there's a bunch of interchangeability going on there. So, yeah. So I, I have some stuff in the works. I just haven't quite gotten over the precipice yet so it'll be soon i'll have some new stuff soon. yeah and i'll tell you about the voice when we go off air i can uh, <laughs> talk about that walt <laughs> how could where are you at and how can the people support you and what stocks do you have what stocks do you have in? okay first things first the stocks we have right now are the stand are those are the regular uh mp5 ones um and some other ones that, but if you're looking for if you're looking for hk type stuff the MP5K stuff, we're working on the rods that you need to put the stuff together with. These guys, they're being machined. Uh, hopefully they're done pretty soon. i got to check tomorrow and see what the progress is. One of our mills uh, sprung an air leak this morning, and i got to fix it. Yeah, Always something. Yeah. Plastic, plastic, made, plastic made air regulator leaking. It's like you can almost guarantee i got to throw it away and get another one. Yeah, I think you um, should 3D yeah. print it. Why is Walter yeah. so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Walt. Go ahead. Uh, 3D printed rods would be a challenge, probably. No, um, I was talking about the I was talking about the air the air thing. Oh, the, the air the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, probably faster just to go buy one. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, um, Safety Air Farms is on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and Utreon. Um, Dirt foot racing the same. Um, if you want to see the the little K in action, I put up a short. Plus, there's also a little bit longer video on Safety Ever Firearms uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, um, we're probably gonna do some stuff in the next couple. I, I think it's July, right, or something like that. We're gonna we're gonna be getting together. We gotta to do find some a weekend. 
yeah. where we can all get together and mm-hmm. try not to die from the heat. <laughs> yes, this okay. is the this is the scary thing right now. With well, that, but yeah, dying of the heat is until maybe you know uh, noon, December, November. October. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. November, yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. We'll have to yeah. go early. Which... <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to get an early start, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but this um, heat wave, this heat wave has to break. It's got to break. It'll, it'll, it'll chill. Today we had a nice thunderstorm here, and it kind of cooled things out really nice. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is important in the afternoon. If you, if... Oh, did we lose Walt? I think he dropped. Walt, Walt he might have hit the wrong button. Walt literally pressed the button, and we'll, we'll I probably... think he hit the wrong button on accident. <laughs> he, I think he put that gun down. Yeah, he did. And he probably hit the space bar. He's coming in. Close. Yeah, he put that. Um, Walt, what's put happening? Back. Did I, yeah. I hit something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, listen. Right. Go ahead, Walt. Go ahead. Right. No, listen. No, it's I'm... not over. I'm gonna run in the end, and then we're gonna come back, and one of you guys is gonna give words of wisdom. So let me run the end in right now. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We're going to rip the audio out of this. Throw it up on iTunes, Podbean, all your favorite places to listen to audio podcasts. We're on Audible. We're part of the Firearms Radio Network. Lots of places to find us if you want to listen in your car or at work or any of those uh, cool things that uh, you folks do out there. We appreciate everyone listening all over the world. All over the world, people are listening to us, and we appreciate it. Okay, who, who, which one of you, uh, which one of you ancient mystics has, uh, the words of wisdom? Go ahead, Walter, what you got? What you got for us? Oh, oh, that's up, uh, <laughs> um, uh-huh. I don't know, you know, uh, just, uh, a lot, like everybody said, a lot of craziness going on out there, crazy thing, you hear the news, things going on, things you don't agree with, just take it easy, don't let it get to you. You know, step away if it's getting a little nutty. Stop watching the news so much. It's propaganda for the most part. If you watch it, t- do a test. Watch the news on one network. Watch the news on another network. And watch the news on another network. And listen. Well, there's no leftist radio, really. Because they can't make it. But, yeah, listen to the different <laughs> news channels and watch how much. Well, that's the truth. <laughs> now, let's, listen and see how similar they all are. And then you, once you realize how similar they all are, it's a, it's all a, they're, they're not worth listening. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. right. Because you don't, you know, you don't need that to figure out what's going on in your own world. You know, I mean, watch your local news, watch the weather, stuff like that, um, and take care of your business at home. You know, you can't mm-hmm. change what's going on in Ukraine. To be honest with you, no matter mm-hmm. what you do, you yeah. can't fix Ukraine. By take care of business, um, you're saying take care of mama. Give mama yeah, the business. Yeah, take care of your mama. Take care of your daddy. Take care uh, well, of your I'm, children. I mean, your wife. By by that, I mean your wife. Yeah, Don't yeah, try. Right. Don't try yeah, to give, yeah, yeah, you know, because you know, that um, could go really badly you know. wrong for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take care, of, take care of the home front, you know, the home yeah. front first, you know, mm-hmm. before you're gonna, how you're gonna fix the world. You can't fix the world. The yeah, gonna... what did Patrick call it? Wifey days. Wife. I forgot what I he did, called. What, it. Is that what I called it? Wife, I wife day. Remember. I don't know. We had a nice wife, wife day. Yes. Wife day. Wife day. Yeah. Take Have care of the lady. Day. She will take care of you. It's very important. Yeah. Totally agree. Happy. Happy. Happy mo- happy wife, happy, happy life, wife, same happy life, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Absolutely. You don't get your <laughs> schlong cut off in the middle of the night. <laughs> well. That's how you do it. That's how you survive. All right, listen, I'm gonna hit the end on this. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me press the buttons. Hold on there. I gotta tell Patrick about the boys. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs>